you'll find that the new Spartan ability in Halo 5 play really nicely with the vehicles and the geometry of the new Okay, I think we started. Sure. Uh, 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 uh. The new strong uh, game type also made it into this iteration of the map. Have we started? Three bases in total. One being on the second floor of the garage, another being in the plaza between the two garages, yeah. and a third sure. inside the terminal itself. Which cool. actually became one We're of the most encounters you can have from this Feel map good. due to the unpredictability of the train. Alright, cool stuff. Hello everyone, we have started and we are watching this preview thingy that's going on on Terminal Remake. Oh, well, how's it going guys? Thank you for taking a look at this map. As I mentioned, this was an absolute blast to recreate. I loved going back into the original map and taking details and bringing I a new one. There are a lot of yeah, the thing is, like, a lot of people are like, why do you do this? A lot of people like watching it, which I understand. The chat's a little less, you know, like it's not as crazy and stuff, so yeah. But I think it all paid out in the end. If you enjoyed it, please give it a download. Add me on Xbox so. Live. My gamer tag is in the description if you need the spelling. If you have any suggestions for... Uh, BA Snapshotter, uh, I just wanted to wait uh, before I answered that, like I didn't want to type it in. But yeah, I got interviewed. Um, by Dividable Halo like, on there, so. Comment, subscribe, yep. share with any of your Halo friends. Where's the link to the actual live stream? Uh, below in the description. Just look below in the description if you don't want to watch with my face here and us talking about it. Um, there's two links to the Twitch and their YouTube, uh, where the stream is, so. Really toxic monkey? Okay. Just joined. We're just waiting. We got three minutes, 50 seconds. I'm just pumped for the Forge content. I am super excited for this. Sorry, guys. I am still a little sick. Um, so uh, I may cough and all, do all that type of stuff and everything. Um, you know, while here on stream. Hopefully, I don't have snot running down my... No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that sick. So... Forge Labs! This broke file! Yay! Boom, boom! I wanna watch your face. <laughs> that Forge World 2.0 though, that looks amazing. Exactly, Quackers. <laughs> Oh, Bob John, I was crying. That was sad. Hopefully they'll have it hidden. I hope. I'm just, you know, everyone's just keeping hope. I don't think so. I don't think it'll be in the game. Hello and welcome but to I just, I just I'm hope, you know. What's up, Kiss? How's it going? Forge map. This is called no Man's Moon. Which, talking about uh, Kiss, uh, everyone, there's a couple people that I want to mention. Uh, Kiss and Flow1989, I want to mention their names because they are very high donators on Patreon. So I just want to say thank you to them. Um, there's all the other uh, Patreon donators uh, are listed below. Um, so I just want to say thanks to everyone uh, for doing that. Really appreciate it, guys. Similar back in Halo Reach, which was called Trench Warfare by Darth Human. This is essentially the same deal, except now we're on the... How's the sound, everyone? Like, compared to my voice, compared to uh, the videos? Of course, like, whenever they're talking about important things, I'll stop talking and stuff like that. Um, at least for the most part, I will. So. Mex Gaming, I will not notice you. ...rifles to battle rifles to... Gravity hammers, swords, shotguns, a ton of stuff that you can use to Yeah, the textures. That's why I'm waiting to release my cold blooded map. Throughout the entire battlefield, and there's also slight changes in elevation with the terrain. <coughs> it's not a flat battlefield. There's actually slight mounds that you can get behind, and again, there's pieces of cover that you can use to your advantage. So it's not just flat and boring. There's actually stuff going on here. At the same time, though, you want to maintain that essence of the original because that's kind of what it was about. It was about getting from one trench to the next and exposing yourself. It's low compared to you. To those. Uh, so more video. Like okay. That's all I need to know. Good balance between I could crank up the video. Cover and what's not. Two minutes. There's Tell two me how that sounds now, guys. Does it sound like pretty good? Aggressively and try to capture as many trenches as possible. Or B, you can stay back at your base and try to play defensively and prevent other players from getting in your trenches. 
<laughs> the best ways of doing Next that gaming. is with the sniper rifle. Now, only one spawns at a time in your armory, so you want to make sure the person who grabs it is going to be able to do stuff with it because it's extremely powerful on this map. If you're playing aggressively, go ahead and grab something like a sword because you can use it to quickly clear out some of the trenches. The same goes with the shotgun. Both are really, really great. We also found that the turret the was stream audio is quiet to me. It from its post like compared to me? What about now? Battlefield, you can clear out Sounds good now. Quick. Okay. It's pretty good for me. Sounds good now. Encounter. Raw good. Homeworld Hero put together a fantastic video about this map where he goes in depth with everything, so I recommend checking it out. It's also pretty funny too. You know, so I get it that there's 133 of y'all watching right now. And stuff. Why don't y'all actually come by my other streams? <laughs> Uh, I stream Forge a lot on Twitch, guys, and also on my Duquesne23YT channel, which is the channel that I do most of my Halo content on now. Um, be sure to check that out. All, all links are in the description below, guys. Y'all yeah, need to come by all those streams. There's a lot of people on here right now. <gasps> What's happening? <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> hey, the memories of Reach live stream. We're super glad you're joining us today. I'm Bravo alongside Jay Frechette. Jay, how's it going? Good, man. Pretty we were kind of, we were both just saying we haven't seen each other in a while. You come back from vacation, yeah. I was coming back from sick leave, so this is kind of our first yeah. time hanging out, really, yeah. I think in like almost two weeks. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I'm here with you. We're glad you're here. We're going to have an awesome show today. Today, of course, we're going to be playing Infection, amongst many other things, yes. uh, including some community favorite mini games, no. uh, as well as quite a bit Forge! more on today's show. Also, we're talking about HCS Pro League, of course, plus uh, the usual community clips and community highlights. Uh, some special guests and a sneak peek at future Halo 5 content. Race! Reminder, it better be race! On Twitter, using the hashtag Halo Livestream, send them to at Halo. We're going to be answering your questions throughout the show. Uh, just like last time, if you happen to have your question asked on the show, whether or not we have a good answer, yep. you're getting a wreck back. So make sure to send us the best questions you've got, and we'll make sure to share them with our guests. And Jay and I will try to answer them, although I'll be the first to admit that Jay and I usually don't know the answers to those we questions. Don't. We have, we have the experts That's true. on the show to do that. But also going to be taking a look at uh, a new arena map, Stasis, that's going to be coming in Memories of Reach. And I think we should get straight into it. So first and foremost, yes. let's go ahead and welcome our guest today. We've got Sean Dursky here hey. with us, a uh, member of Halo Protein. That was a quiet hey. Chris Hands, a senior environment artist. Chris, great to have Hello. you with us. Guys, how are you doing? Good. good. Yeah. Good, yeah, really good. Um, Chris and I were just talking uh, before we got up here, uh, how long Stasis has been in the game and mm -hmm. everything. And it's, uh, it's really neat to see it. Um, now coming out obviously live with the update and everything and yep. uh, I think there's a lot of depth there to the game cool. from all the game types and we're beginning to do it here yeah, in a little bit. Yeah, you say you guys have been working on it in a long time, obviously a lot to do. Two teams. years. Yeah. <laughs> and it's finally here. So yeah. uh, let's go ahead. Let's talk a little bit about map layout and strategy. Durst, what can people expect uh, when you come out of the bases? What, what are the, the goals that you want to control on the map? Um, the most important thing, I think, uh, and you'll see it in Slayer um, and CTF, is uh, the overshield. It, it's going to be spawning um, down inside bottom middle. Uh, this is going to be something your team wants to be timing. Um, obviously every two minutes when it comes up and then uh, above bottom middle is actually uh, we have the Halo 5 rockets spawning in up there which is um, a huge weapon that your team needs to be controlling um, and just the whole center ah. of the map uh, the way we uh, when I say we the pro team sort of saw this map as far as a layout uh, was sort of similar to Amplified back in uh, Halo 3 if any of you guys played that in the competitive scene um, Basically, you you know you catch one, two, three guys off guard. You get them down, and then you kind of got to swarm together on a base and everything. And Toxic again, monkey rockets being there. There's Hello. also um, the recon DMRs that spawn in the bases, um, which is a really cool weapon um, that you don't usually see in arena. And it's uh, it's sweet seeing it you know come to life here on on stasis and outside of warzone. And in there's a gnat yes, flying around me. So of course, going to see the brute plasma rifle in play on the map as well, so people can check that out. Chris, let's talk about the environment. Obviously, I mean, it looks beautiful. I think people are excited to play on it. What can players expect to find? Also, where did some of the inspiration come from? Um, so we usually, whenever we come up with a new arena map, we try and like pull from different um, uh, themes. Mm -hmm. And so like when we started development on this map, we didn't have any snow-based maps yet. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, 
Originally, this map was this map um, looks cool. actually had no snow two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we were like, okay, it's an industrial space, but then we're, we were kind of like, well, we have too many industrial spaces right now. Let's, you know, what, what can we do to differentiate it from other maps? Mm -hmm. And so we're like, well, let's just pour snow all over it. Uh, let's mm -hmm. put it in, a, you know, in Antarctica mm -hmm. on some desolate planet. Everything's dead. You know, it's kind of creepy and eerie. Mm -hmm. Um, we were kind of going for like the idea of like the thing, right? Um, uh, and <laughs> totally. <laughs> now that you say that, yeah, I definitely see that. So everything's like frozen. You don't know the story mm. behind it. Obviously, the space station crashed. Bob John Hogwild better have race. Um, and there are a little bit of hints here and there that we kind of threw in there, little Easter eggs for players to find. But <laughs> uh, I won't get into that. I'll let them figure it out. Cool. Um, but yeah, Sweet. that's basically that's awesome. it. Excellent. I think we should play some games. Yeah, I love the new go theme of Torque. I, I really like the snow and jump in. theme on so there. So we'll do uh, Slayer first. Excellent. Excellent. And then what about after that? And then some CTF. Also, guys, just wait till the forge. So just wait till the forge. Let's, let's do it. Ooh. Have we in the room ready for a little fun? I think we're ready. Y'all are going to be right, excited. Let's start it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, sweet. So, uh, of course, we're going to be playing uh, 12 in a match, 50 kills to win. This will be, I have to say, I haven't gotten all that many matches in on stasis, Jay. I don't know yeah, mostly for us, you know, when we're capturing the press kits, we, we're in the map a lot, but we're staging a lot of stuff. That's mm -hmm. typically Game how we cheat. put a lot of those I like, know, big, man. Falcon. And videos Oof, together. I want uh, it. So there's not a lot of time that we get to actually just play matches. It's usually actually the live stream that our team actually gets yeah. to really uh, play it. But Dirt I on the other hand. Oh, he's I, yeah, yeah, every much morning. Hoping. Every morning at 11 a.m., we're in there with. Uh, with Quinn, um, the, the pro team and I, and, and also some of the other MP designers, and we're just getting games in constantly on it, trying to find, uh, I think the hardest thing is to find the weapon balance for it, you know, because yeah. with, uh, with you know, this map, you really want to highlight the kind of the great angles it has and everything, and mm -hmm. like the power positions. Um, so every morning we're in there just finding a, a right weapon set that felt good, and at one point, you know, we had rail guns and hydras on here, and then we felt comfortable with just uh, Sort of a balance, rockets, top middle, over yep. shield, bottom middle, and then we added a, a yeah, hydra and shotgun in there mm -hmm. as well. Uh, Eric um, Plains. Also, with the so. new update, the, the hydra is going to be buffed. Um, so hopefully somebody can pick it up, if not myself. That's why I haven't been making uh, any videos on my Duquesne 23 YT channel and stuff. Right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's see. already. To... already. <laughs> <They have> uh, <laughs> the top mid is always top really tough. I was smart to start on right, Dursky's POV. See. Dursky, what team are you on? You on blue? Uh, yeah, I'm on blue. All right, I'm on blue too. I'm feeling good. I'm all set. I did not go for the over Why did let that happen? Oh, crap. Uh, rocks are going to be down top mid, maybe? No, I stayed alive. Nice job. All right, let's see. All right, so let's see, Dursk. I think we're on your POV right now, so feel okay. free to let people know what they're seeing, kind of what angles you're using. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I got your help. I got your help. Oh, two back in there. <laughs> and it's really cool. Um, The shotgun is located over on the, the side uh, alley. I love it how Dursky didn't um, so really say anything. Spawns when you know you find yourself spawning first. base and. Uh, wondering like what side you want to go out to. Uh, th that hallway is great to just kind of hold it down with the shotgun, um, kind of play that close quarter combat up there, and you can even traverse the top middle, to, you know, to get a quick pick and everything. And I think that's something that I, we did a really good job with was landing on the. You the didn't already know that game cheat. And especially for the overshield, you talked about the brute plasma rifle. Yeah. It is a extremely melter. good at melting the overshield. Yes, it is. Um, one of the things like with the the brute plasma rifle, it. it Deplete shields extremely fast um, to where like some people might feel it's really OP, but once the shields are popped, mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot of extra shots to kill. So it's uh, it's different than the storm rifle in that sense. Right now the storm rifle kind of will just you know what I mean destroy you. Right. Um, to where this it depletes your shields extremely fast. But the finish isn't as quick. The finish isn't as quick. So uh, I'd I'd kind of like to see us use uh, use the weapon for more uh, you know HCS kind of modes and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking this. Uh, uh oh, they didn't turn off oh, messages it's it's got the on Dursky. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never ever been good with the DMR since the since the earliest days of Reach. <laughs> I will be the first to admit. And yeah, we got rockets as well coming up every two minutes. Yep. Our team just grabbed it. Just oh. got them. Means. Jay, are you on the red team? So yes. I'm sorry, my friend. It is. That's really happening. No, I don't really pay it. Yeah, game cheat. That's old news. Old news. <laughs> Chris and I are trying our best over here. So, Drisk, was there any, I mean, if you think about the development of the map, was there any, I mean, big changes in terms of sight lines, routes, et cetera, that change? I mean, you guys okay, talk a lot about there. the final weapon uh, t you know, placements that are done, but in terms of actual routes and stuff. Uh, how there are a lot of things that y'all know already yeah, about the Forge stuff that's coming out on this update, but there are some more stuff that hasn't been shown uh, that I think y'all would be excited uh, yeah, about. I'm just doing a 
some clean up. Nothing like Forge World, which I don't really care if there's a Forge World or not. But nothing like that. But Twenty-seven, You know, there's just some other like <laughs> cool things, right, like the wall the textures, yeah. you know, and things like that. So oh, I, I, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, you know that I generally... Bravo didn't I turn off I messages. You oh, no. On the receiving end of some pretty brutal beatings. That is well, true. Game I, Team, I, the I reason why they don't make new maps reels, every time is just because the time it takes to make a new map also compared to also a just a remake. Uh, or remix. Dude, this brute plasma pistol. Oh, baby. Plasma rifle? But, um. I like it. Come on, Jay. Yeah, Sorry. just, uh. It's, I know, it's just time wise and everything. Excited, they they I'm have so made excited. new I didn't maps know what it was. and stuff plasma before. Pistol. This pink so gun just, that shoots stuff is just one of those great. things. Yeah. He's, where he has, you know, he been in the they're gonna do remixes oh, this time, so then a new map the next break. time, or oh, something like that. There we go. I had to. Was it the last update, a new map? Yeah, a new Warzone map came out. So. I think that's the only time I killed you. So, um. Dursk, Halo 5's been out for. Uh, been out for a while, and you guys are still running on stuff that has yet to be released. Tell me, uh, who on the pro team, uh, on the pro team, who mm -hmm. is uh, who is the top dog in Halo Five? Top dog in Halo Five. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, not Blood Gulch, I'm, I'm Will, but um, think, uh, my Cold Blooded uh, version, I did I, the I Halo really Five version um, of Blood Gulch. Like, I have completed. Uh, I'm waiting till um, the wall I'm textures and everything comes out, so I can add that to the bases. Um, just a really good. But I'm still working on my gonna, actual he, he Blood Gulch, really like well. legitimate um, remake, uh, or at least really mostly legitimate remake, not the Halo Five version. Um, he, he's really aggressive, which I've always kind of liked as a play style. But as far as raw skill, I it's definitely. It's definitely between I agree, Game Cheat. I agree. Neighbor. I'd rather have um, them not come down, out with uh, a new know, map one update and come out with a new days, map on the next update. Have, uh, I do agree with that. Cobb, neighbor, I don't mind some remixes. If it's a drastic remix, like it's you know it's it's drastically different from the original map. I'd say it's between those two for raw. I don't mind those, but I agree that I'd rather just wait for a new map. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Maybe a pro team one v one. Tournament to see oh yeah, the one v ones would be great, and uh, there's one one v one in particular because uh, we don't give him too much love. Killer V, he's uh -huh. also part. Yeah, of the Haven was team. a pretty uh, good map. He uh, he's known to have you know some pretty good one v ones with strong side in the past, and I would I'd personally love to see a Killer V strong. Salad is a dish best served again, Hannibal. Killer v doesn't get too much of the spotlight, <laughs> but it would it'll be great to see him you know uh, have that. Opportunity to play in front of you know thousands of people against strong side. Oh yeah, I see, mean, see how he does. I remember yeah. actually. Uh, yeah. yeah, uh Killer V was the, the first. Well, before he was known as Killer V, he was the uh, the first um, guy that I played one v one and from the studio. Right. Uh, right Volcano right Decay. I, I can use the chat box. It's just I'd rather Halo actually talk. Release and I joined the team. Um, and I was like, man, this guy's got a, he's got a pretty good shot. You know, I didn't expect people to come to this one to hear my opinions, to talk, and everything. Had, but, There's a link to the normal uh, stream in the description well. yeah, if you want to go shot. there. We may have to get him. Uh, we may have to get a one v one tournament going on. But look at the score here. It's 37-24. Blue team still doing pretty well. Jay, how do you feel? Personally? Uh, you know, I'm having a good time. I think <laughs> I maybe got uh, two kills. I think so far. I'm uh -huh. really trying to get this opportunity with the shotgun, which is one of the weapons uh, I enjoy using the most, but I'm not very good at. I do like the flow. Has anybody found the Hydra yet? Uh, I haven't seen oh, anyone using it. Right, that is on this map. So, yeah, so the Hydra will be located oh, um, in the house room, and what we call the house room is that um, room across from the shotgun hallway. You, Jay? Oh, <laughs> this is on stream, my I friend. Can. Oh, oh my yes. POV for that? Oh, Come on. Jay, that was not good. <laughs> Oh that was boy. a huge choke. That was choke. perfect. That it's, was a huge choke on my part. That wow. was lovely. I cannot I, believe I I'm did just that. picking up all the wrong weapons because I'm so excited that, that was on wow. stream. Wow. Usually, I, usually I'm the one getting wrecked. Oh. Oh. This feels great. It was my turn. It was my oh, turn. Oh man, it feels. What were we even talking about? Uh, uh, the Hydra. Thank you. Thank it's, you. Yeah, no, no worries. <laughs> it happens. You know, there's there's magic moments in Halo, but it's. I'll of course in love house, a spe um, uh, Phantom and Spear prop. That'd be pretty cool. Behind you. Any type of prop or anything would be awesome. House right there. Yeah. Have, you know. Back there. Take it to the house. And then to your right. Oh. Unless it's picked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy has it. Yeah. Chris isn't that good either. Oh. That'll do it. Nice grenade. Uh, so which Hydra is it? It is just a regular Hydra. However, okay. um, with this update, it is getting uh, a, yep. sl a Oh, yeah. Ball. Anyone, I yep. think, would rather uh, take so original which maps which over remixes. Out. Caster as well. I, I'm yeah, included yeah, in that. Caster I'd rather well take original maps over remixes. A bump. You can check out uh, all the details of that on Waypoint now. It'll also be in patch notes oh. when Memories of Reach releases, which... I think Jay, we might be able to tell ah. everyone when memories of, 
uh, Reach is releasing right now? Uh, I believe you, we can. Do you want to say the magic word? Uh, you all will be playing the Memories of Reach tomorrow. That's tomorrow? Right. Oh, tomorrow. snap! So as, as you may have expected, we, we uh, did the same thing for the last show, but Memories of Reach is dropping tomorrow, so uh, yes. make sure to set your calendars for tomorrow, oh, and you'll be able to... Ooh, <coughs> double off that stick, too. Wow. That wasn't too bad. Wow. Um, but Memories of Reach is dropping tomorrow. You're going to see a lot of that, uh, what's coming with Memories of Reach today. To be honest, it's too much to cover in a single show, so we're going to be talking a lot about it. We're going to be showing you some of it, uh, and some of it you're going to have to wait until tomorrow to jump in and find out and play, but um, we are excited for it to be on the way, of course, to have a special guest with us as well, but that's going to be it for game number one. Wow. 50 or 35, not a value. We should play CTF, though, because Dirk's going to talk to you about CTF, how that plays out Yes. Um, as well. Blue team, big win there. Yep. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll get another map going. But yes, as we we're talking about just now, Memories Reach is. The game. Which armor do you like from the uh, Noble so team? Be sure to get ready for that drop. There's a <laughs> lot inside. We're going to be talking about a lot of it today. Uh, of course, the patch notes will be coming tomorrow. I don't know. Probably well, just so meals. We'll be able to read each line item of everything that's been updated. We're going to run through that soon. But first, <coughs> let's go ahead and play Stasis CTF. Looks like we've got to bring a couple more people in. Yeah. Paul, do I need to bring you in oh. over there? It looks like. Dursky. Yep. Dursky too. Yeah. Go ahead and load it up, buddy. Cool. You know what we could do right now is take a look at some PGCR. Oh, you should definitely do that. Let's see if we can pop over to. Well, they already said uh, we we Kindle. The preferences they right. already that said the, the parallax fix oh, yeah. is going to be in this update. Do, do I have? So, uh, it won't let me select preferences. Um, so you're so. saying that we have? No. No, I'm not going to say. You're good on that. Um, <laughs> unless there's right. another uh, issue. Hopefully not. All right. So very quickly, here's the here's this PGCR. Take a look. This is brand new for Memories of Reach. First of all, you're going to see stances here on the first screen of the PGCR. Also. The first screen you're going to see is this match stats overview screen. Now that's a new change as well. Here come the notifications. So Jay, you're telling me that you're unable to turn notifications off. I did on try. This I got, guys, I swear. Okay. I swear. Here we go. I was my doing friend. it. And every time I'm actually, it would I'm, not let I'm me select. Actually, I know. I'm glad. You're the only kit I couldn't do. It. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. I want, to, I want uh, you to see all it settings? happens. It's got to be all settings, right? Oh no, I think. Yep. So you go down to preferences. Yep. See. Yeah. Yeah. What? So it looks like you have well, to switch to that's the... What right that's what happens. Jeez. That's what happens. All right, well, let's, let's bring on the notifications. Let's embrace the notifications. We have to give in. Here we go. <laughs> um, so here's your new PGCR. Uh, uh, you're going to also see stances in the uh, PGCR, which you're going to see for the first time. You can take a look at someone's armor uh, as well as uh, their stances and their emblems and icons. You're also going to see there, Lord, if we could take scary. off my lower third for a second, the Bravo lower third, um, you can also can see... Uh, this, the, a few rare medals from a player, uh, from each player that they've just gotten um, here. You'll see them right here. So you'll see a few Thank rare. Thank goodness they're actually showing medals in post game. Even go one layer deeper. So let's go ahead and take a look at me, for example. This was my you match know, here. So yay! now you're going to get this new Finally, here, this is so much better. Gorgeous. First of all, you can use the triggers to cycle through. You might be familiar <laughs> with that. Uh, you're also going to see medals in the bottom left. So here's your medal chest, your post game medals that many of you asked for. So all these updates really came as a result of community feedback. Be able to scroll through these medals. They also have rarities assigned to them. Well, no, uh, kind of Slash, exactly it's not 343 not being able to turn off the notifications. Like, top like it's his Xbox. Metal. The Xbox uh, well, literally will not screen, let him turn off the notifications. Stuck. You also have your killed so, most yeah. and your killed by. So it tells me how many times I killed one player and who killed me the most as well. There's always going to be a number attached to that, as well as the beloved tool of destruction. Uh, there's even more inside. This is finally, this is so right nice well. to be able to have uh, so this screen here. To jump into that once so again. they're updating, um, you know, the UI to Halo 5 it, where it's better. Uh, you know, this is this is something so that people have really been in. asking for, to this type of thing. On it tomorrow as well. <laughs> I think we're ready to go ahead. And so also, that's good. That's good. Awesome new addition. It is. That's good. Overall. I was really excited to see that. Yeah, I think we just, uh, Paul is about to hop in with us. Cool. We got seven of our eight, and we'll be ready to Let's see. go. We so do we're going to do CTF mm -hmm. this time around, which I think this map is, seems built really well for. Yeah, so uh, at a technical standpoint, it is an asymmetrical map, which right. first you know sign right there is why are we playing CTF on it. However, there are a ton of symmetrical um, features that this map has that make it feel like it is a symmetrical map. Um, and again, talking about the weapon balancing and am I gonna be live stream? Yes, I'm gonna be live stream sure that tomorrow. You know it. Fair be live stream new Forge um, pieces. I'll be updating my um, cold blooded is, map. Is and, or, um, you know, whatever just everything like that. To traverse to and. Um, what we noticed with this was you get a really good back and forth, um, you know, just kind of headbutting game type uh, where you got to control the overshields, got to control the rockets top middle, and you know the teams that aren't doing that effectively right. aren't capping flags. Yeah, hmm. absolutely. Yeah, I'm excited to see. Obviously, in Slayer, you can kind of get away with a lot of different things, right? You can control different parts of the map and win games, <coughs> and control the weapons. But yeah. obviously, I need to get a Slayer, cough drop. Cough of, drop. Uh, 
things you must do to, to run flag. Mm -hmm. So excited to see how that, that and, plays out here. And one thing I think you, you'll notice too a little bit, um, and it's similar with layout, is y you get the, the spawns to sort of spawn on one side. So like the onslaught, um, which was back from Halo 3, where you know they're going to be spawning A, you trap them at A, and then you know they're going to be spawning B. And it's really interesting at the highest level to sort of see that, mm -hmm. um, that being, yeah, being yeah. displayed and cycled. Very cool. Cool. Let's see. Uh, next one, as we're jumping into this game, question comes from Martin Creston on Twitter. Congrats, you're getting a rec pack. Nick, you know uh, how nothing does the about that. Update, rifle differ so. from the storm rifle. There's, we talked about it before, but for anyone who might just be joining us, let's talk about how those weapons are. A bit Basically, different. just the forge um, stuff yeah, so makes like this update earlier, worth it. Um, with the plasma rifle, you're and I like notice, the armors. Notice, um, it's how all be, the deals. Um, if you don't like Halo 5's armor, fast. period, um, then you're not going to like the armors that they're adding in for the Reach versions of them. Because they're going to be the same style. So if you don't like it, then tough luck. You know, stop dealing with it. Plasma rifle. Oh, uh, um, it is go harder, go play Reach um, if you have got such a boner for it. Depleted, which kind of gives it that more balanced feel um, mm -hmm. from a user perspective because sometimes you just get caught off guard by the storm rifle and you have no idea really what really what happened. And with this, you can actually um, you know kind of have a chance to make. Oh yeah, they're going to show they, Forge. They uh, Tom Fritch already said that they, he's, he's going to be on there and they're going to be showing off all the Forge stuff. So y'all are going to be it really says, excited guys, about Forge. Took the time to send like everything that that's going to be coming out with the new Forge. They're going to be really say, pumped about it. Sorry, There's a lot of guys, awesome stuff. Know, which is absurd. So thank you, Green Skull, for that. But we'll go back to Dursky's point of view, which is far more interesting than mine. All right. Oh, no. Whoa. So one interesting thing about this map that... We didn't really <laughs> step back. Uh, do with other arena maps, at least initially, was we actually uh, designed the map with the No, exactly, Edward. And, uh, like, that's right the thing. The bat, um, Most people hated uh, Reach. People were complaining input, all about the fact that Reach was super, and, course, like, it, 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 the armor abilities um, in Reach made it extremely and, unbalanced. I mean, it turned out they really constantly well. complained about it. They uh, constantly complained about Forge were, World. Uh, um, everyone was complaining about Reach whenever Reach was out. Then now all of a sudden that Reach, you know, like, that Reach is an older game. Everyone's all of a sudden has a huge boner for Reach. And I I love Reach. Reach is the best game ever. Yet they're the same ones that were complaining about Reach whenever it was out. And had it, you know, deflect in a certain angle. Right. You know, we normally don't think about that when we're building these maps initially. But it's kind of an interesting process. And I'm really proud about proud of how this came out. Man, once, I, I, once I, I get my uh, so cough was, drop in, it, was, it all goes awesome down. Do. And like you said, you know <laughs> I mean? We were able to, I think, bounce, uh, uh, you know, feedback and ideas off each other to really get um, a good um, a good feel, you know, and, and finish with this map. Game Cheat, a lot guys, of people complained about this, Forge World. Can, uh, uh, the fact that it was just a single uh, map, map yes. and I it, <laughs> every single yeah, Forge um, map so that's in it, like, it looked exactly the same because there was no differences. Um, like, oh. you know, they so just complained you, about the fact that that was basically it, that you could forge on, that that's all right, people were forging right. on. Typically, and every map looked the same, because it had the same skybox, same surroundings most sometimes. of the time, yeah. you know, yeah. stuff like uh, that. A lot of people complained. They wish that they had different types of forged canvases, which that's what we have now in Halo 5. A lot of people were complaining about things like that. You can kind of go based off that, so we usually will choose a side. However, if we can get a fresh four dead and get a you know, a fresh pull, uh -huh. we'll go right up the middle. You kind of have that bottom middle cover, and then based off um, where else, where you know your other teammates are at, uh -huh. um, we'll go from there. And sometimes we do, you know the Shooting. who's the my Kobe favorite noble toss, member? Sure. You know what I mean, right of up course. Into the window. Um, as well. um, of course, I know him so well. A good one. Know Truthfully, I don't know. Some old school. Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, for, Kobe. for uh, tell me if, if you I, I really that, don't know who's my favorite noble uh, member. Four dead, and you're running mid. Is is bottom mid really the preferred option over the top mid option? Uh, I would take. Probably top middle again, situational, depending on uh, what where the overshield's at. You know uh -huh. what I mean, and where the weapons are at. Um, if nothing's coming up, I, I'd probably go. I'd probably go top middle. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I personally so love Reach. I like all the Halo and games. From there, you can make the decision depending. Now, on there's some that are better than others, but I still liked all the Halo games. Back with it. Always good to have the option, of course. Uh, they're all spawning here on the left side. Whoa! Crap. Spawner grenade. Oh, I did like June. I don't know. In this game. I, w I would probably say <laughs> yeah, June just because like sniper and stuff. I do love sniper <laughs> things, so yeah. Oh, oh, keep it going. Let's do it. Keep it going. Oh, oh we got stuck. Right, Shaq to Kobe here. Great stick. For the toss. Oh. For the toss. Got it. For the toss. Coming up. Do it up. Coming up. Get it. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. And this yeah. is what I, I talked about. about I need that, to return it. That kind of headbutt. Um, 
you know, you have both teams, you can find you have each other's flags and like, okay, with the power weapons that are on the map with the overshields coming up, um, mm. you know, where would, do we go from there? All right, we tried oh to pull God. this. Oh, in our flag now, they might go for return. Uh, Oh, yeah, but also game team. I think it's, me how it's not on, just on that. Games, like, right, we'll see, like, it's not just the uh, fact that uh, you know off. that's partially yeah, probably what some people you, are. You found um, a, but I think it's also one of the things where yes, yeah. yeah. um, people how just you notice that they. I don't what happens is they forget all the issues and stuff that they had with it while they were doing that, and then they see it more of a nostalgia type of sake. Same thing with Halo CE. Halo CE. C I thought it was a great game. It was a great game. But it has a lot of issues, you know, what I mean? mm -hmm. you know with everything. I thought the campaign basically. was good oh, yeah. um, um, <laughs> until it got to anything but, revolving yeah, that, Flood, uh, then I thought it got extremely repetitive uh, and boring. Sorry, I'm uh, they so, got it? Oh. Shots right here. That's my personal good opinion. Grab. But of course, uh, nostalgia, you know, um, makes you right, like like something a lot more than what it was previously. It is. It is quite good. How do you guys do it? Let's do it. Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, we yeah. To, yeah, there we go. We got the W. I'm already Sweet. not that great at the game, so it's yeah. <laughs> you can't tell anyways. <laughs> we didn't get to pull off the, the Kobe to Shaq. Nostalgia goggles. But another win for the blue team. Well done, well done. Uh, it's from Cole Plays Halo on Twitter. Let's see. Here's a question. Why did you put the recon DMR on the map instead of the regular DMR? Hmm. Uh, well, we noticed uh, tons of open lines of sight on this map. You're going to notice the, the long uh, side hallways, and even top middle shooting into the base um, has, a, has a long line of sight. So what we noticed with the, the DMR, the <laughs> Toxic recon DMR monkey. scope, is that you kind Keep of it up. Not, you don't have that, that, uh, <laughs> the distance that you have with the regular DMR. Right. Um, so it draws that back a tiny bit, but I think just <laughs> enough to where you have this effective weapon. Because when you look at placing a BR, a regular Halo 5 BR and a regular Halo 5 DMR on a map, you got to look at um, the pros and cons each one has. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And I, I think that's something you see, um, you know, with the different maps that we have. Duquesne um, say, I watch Promethean porn. Extremely good with this size of the map. Mm -hmm. um, and again, nothing not too powerful where you can just sit back and kind of lay shots and right. shots in without pushing up. Cool. Yeah, I think it'll be a neat opportunity for people to use it. Silly, silly. Players who haven't gotten to shoot it as much. Yeah. But doesn't everyone? Yeah, I thought everyone watched that. Rifle. Is it just um, me? As well. Sorry. Uh, also waiting for feels So great. sorry, guys. It's so yeah, good. It's fun. Yeah. The best feeling is probably the quick draw with it. Mm -hmm. You you will shoot that three or four bullet, you know, projectile bullets go off, yeah. pull to pistol, headshot. Yeah. It's it's a really good feeling. Yeah. Really, also, really does really it good. feels like um, feels like it's pretty darn accurate, right? I feel like Halo Two. Like porn rifle, is greater than Promethean porn. Off, <laughs> um, but when you're shooting that blue, brute plasma rifle, it feels like each bolt right of plasma yeah. is actually the speed yeah is the speed is pretty quick and it feels like you can really land shots instead yep. of just holding no i i agree i game i agree halo c's campaign and, is better and just i mean the just the like first couple levels of halo c especially the well. level yeah, that you land out, on just, halo you like is it called halo i think oh my gosh that one so Whenever you to, come out onto the, like well, you're driving you through uh, Chris, that Sean, awesome tunnel, that underground tunnel, and then you come you out and you're like the mountains and everything are up there. Oh, that was a beautiful. Uh, I love that level. Then, of course, the, um, uh, what is it called? The island one. I forget what it's called. Is it Truth and Reconciliation? Or segment? forget what it's called. Yeah, that one was amazing. First is Tickets to Elysium by Mr. Brandyberry. Now, Jay, I haven't actually seen any of these clips. I have not seen a single one of Sweet. these. Sweet. We are all just I as I like it better fresh. when we haven't seen them. Me too. It's a lot more it's, exciting. We get we the are... real reactions. Okay, here we are. So this is... Take it Okay. Uh, let's see. Mr. Brandy Berry pulling off some disgusting here. Ooh. Ooh. Like, look at these shots. Oh, my. Heavens. Which one is that, Jeff Easterling? That's a triple. Pulls that off. Right Which there. carbine is that? It's going to be a... Ooh, look at this. And also has a, he is raining some oblivion. That's a true well, story. And a speed boost. So let's go ahead. Blood of Subban. And I was going to say this. Mm, not bad. Blood of Subban. We're going to watch it one. Franchise just got owned there. Ooh, one more time. Ready by wow. an anti. I mean, the, the shot. Oh, silent cartographer. So that's right. That's what it's called. That's, that's what it's called. Really? Wow. This is, a, this is what I would consider that's a right. well used wreck. I love that yep. one. This is nothing like I do no. at home. I typically. And look at this. It pulls out the one. Finishes with it. a Spartan charge. Yep. Love and, it. And Two of them. Yep. And against another speed boosting player. So incredible stuff well there. Done. Well done, Mr. Brandon. Very Barry. well done. Next up is a Scorpion pileup. This one comes from Insignia. Uh, let's see exactly. Well, I love the name of this already. Let's see exactly. Oh, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be no. a Warzone firefight no. Scorpion pileup. I'm not sure what the actual goal of this operation is here, <laughs> Jay. Aside from really challenging the Are they the like putting on second. a show? Is it supposed to be like... We got some corpse scorpions in there too. 
Let's see, and this is a battle against the warden, <coughs> and uh, this is, it's a, I, I guess you could say it's a work of art. I guess that's one way of strategize. I mean, yeah. you, you, I hope they do something else like the silent cartographer, where it's a big open world, the, the and you know they goodness. just basically well, the warden's got that uh, like you can kind of go yeah, where you want and actually, stuff. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Like, it was a beautiful level. Multiple EMPs, this is what it feels like to drive on the. I just I also want more city maps. I don't like I don't like I'm not talking about Meridian one and Halo five. Like I actually want city ones like in Halo two and stuff. I love city levels in campaign. Love this map. Yes, indeed. Playing skirmish and dark star. So That's a pretty close AR score, too. by the way. Look at that. It's, yeah. Uh, I believe 772 to 713, and they are down. Here, so let's go. Oh, here Ooh. we go. No. Yep. He's gonna go on. An wow. Absolute mega Good use of overshield. Wait, he's there. not done. He's not done. He's not done. Picks what? up another one. I can tell you. I feel he's not done. What? He's controlling the base. And look. Let's see if they. Did he fire a single bullet there? Uh, we'll have to watch it again, Jay, because I'm not quite sure. But That's that, what I'm saying. That like energy just... bayonet is doing wow. Work. Stabby, stabby. I like the name of the clip too. It's it's the Wackathon. Uh, as he picks up each one of these, doesn't even bother shooting. You're dead. You're dead. Over Kill Palmer and Halo 6. Part of this as well. I think he even gets a star killer there. If I'm not sure. Ethan. Indeed. And now what is that? that Sinar? Into an overkill as well. Hello. Quite a play. Halo's fun to watch, man. It is indeed. It really is. Quite a play. There oh, what's up, Bearded Wonder? Me, that was Siggy Z. I think I noticed well, you earlier, but I never said anything. Uh, next up, everyone, go check out Bearded Wonder's YouTube channel. Yes. As a reminder, he has a cool video tomorrow. I uploaded. So actually, sure the past video. Jump on here. And jump into the content. Um, then, it's everything you know about Halo. Hilarious uh, video. Go watch it. Go ahead and throw to a trailer of just a taste on what's to come. Hashtag Remember Reach. Once again, that's just a taste. Uh, we're going to go through a quick rundown, though, of everything you can find in Memories of Reach. Actually, just about everything. Like I said, probably too much to cover in today's show, but yep. we'll have all the details that's of what's one. inside the update tomorrow. Of course, you've got Stasis, the arena map we just played. Yep. You've got Infection, possibly the most Woo! widely requested community <laughs> game so. mode, uh, is coming as well. You've got the Blue, Brute Plasma Rifle, George's Chain Gun, Helios, Phaeton Variant. Uh, you've got the Noble Team Emblems. You also got uh, eight weapon skins, including Azure Dream, which is brand new. You've got all of the Spartans Armory skins now coming to the rec pool as well. The Wheelman Armor Mod. Uh, we got a new Royal <laughs> Visor. Of course, you've got the Reach Armor sets. We're going to talk about those in just a bit. Two new stances. Doesn't Cod almost have two million dislikes uh, a bunch on it? Of new emblems I think it does. Threat marker, weapon, attachments. Now, Jay, I think we should also, I mean, at this point, mention a bunch of other things that are coming as well. We've got uh, matchmaking preferences coming, uh, search preferences. Ooh, of course, awesome. you can change your, uh, your search from balanced to expanded and focused. So essentially awesome. what you've been playing uh, now, the default, is balanced. So you've been f finding uh, the best match for your fire team. But now you can change that a bit. So if you're not finding matches as quickly as you'd like, you can change Ooh, that preferences. to expanded to find That's the nice. best match in expanded range. That's nice. Or you can change cool. that to focused. So if you want to wait for the best match, uh, based on skill and connection, you can now trim that down. So for a lot of competitive players who want a little bit faster match, you can search that way. Or if you're just trying to get some games in, you can change that to expanded and you can find uh, <coughs> players a little bit faster. So those are another widely requested community Very feature cool. that the UI and services team have been working on together. Awesome. That's coming. We've got brand new cam campaign balance. You can read about that in the campaign relief community update. Uh, changes to uh, campaign AI and Warzone AI are in there, so make sure to read up on that. We'll also have those details once again tomorrow in the patch notes on the landing page, all in one simple place. Also got sandbox weapon balance. You can read about all those details already. Uh, uh, slash. Let's see, two community updates. Ago. One thing you got to realize, that, of course we're going to be happy uh, about it. 
that makes no sense and the what you just said a bunch of other wrecks and wreck levels as yes well. it should have been there from the start but of course we're going to be happy about uh, it now the, the brand the. new ui you already saw the new pgcr yep. uh we're going to be showing that off a little bit more today as well so you'll be able to check that out um but yeah super excited about that new pgcr once again based on feedback you guys have given us but let's go into an even deeper dive in what is in the memories of reach release uh first things first let's take a look at george's chain gun Woo. i mean this thing is sweet it's a legendary mythic it's got high capacity and yeah. high explosive ammo. Still would rather have a concussion rifle or something else. Resistance. And of course, you cannot perform Spartan abilities while using this weapon because you're already pretty powerful. Jay, walk us through the brute plot. Uh, well, other than me saying it wrong, um, this is really great to have this back, I think, in the Halo sandbox. It's been um, What's up, a great weapon to use. And it, like, right the there, accuracy you can see. is, it's really yeah. crazy. Um, the burn, the sort of cooldown on it is pretty fast. Like you gotta, yep. it's definitely good to pump that trigger. But uh, yeah, it feels very deadly. Like uh, probably from other than the pit, the, the magnum. Probably the half fort. How's the DLC like disappointing? Sure. Have you, yeah, you can seen? Kind of well, I guess you haven't seen the forge kind of stuff. For just how just quick it's popping. But now let's talk about the weapon skins. This is the Azure Dream. These are rare Thanks, weapon Jerome. skins Beautiful. available on all the weapons you might expect. Yeah, Pro Pipe would have been cool too. Or the also, Laser Designator. That would have been sweet. Or Target Designator. I forget what it's so called. Something like that. Skins. You've got your Noble Team skins. Uh, these look really good as well as yeah, ODST. Sandbag. Those are going to be ultra rare. Uh, also, you're going to see Osiris Team, which are sweet as well. Right there, you're looking at the uh, ODST. Here's your Osiris team skins. These are pretty sweet. Maybe my favorite one, just a really clean texture yeah, on, it's nice. on both of We're those. We're not getting this is the distracted, grin. There's slash. There's only one Shark Tooth grin coming in Appease this update. Appease means satisfied. Yes, we are satisfied uh, that it's finally the in the game. Of course, of course we're satisfied for that. What are you talking well. about? Uh, next one this guy's making no UNSC, sense, everyone. Which is no sense at all. As well, if you're into that chief of course we're satisfied that it's finally coming in here. I'm going to be satisfied once the race game type finally comes here. I'm satisfied that they infection is finally in here should have been there from day uh, one I, I did, I absolutely but i'm works. still satisfied that it's actually in here right now there it's it's keeping his little nap you make no sense above them so you can have those just for a short moments. time yeah so when they're going behind cover or you know that's so much what halo is is ducking behind cover and that little cat and mouse game so this definitely gives you an advantage with these weapons where you're still going to kind of know where they are and i'll really help you line up your shots so this is kind of cool corner, you're this little uh, threat marker attachment that's kind of cool that's right. And uh, next up, of I course, like are the Halo Reach armor sets. Yes. Jay, walk us through these as well. Well, there's Indomitable. Everybody knows that. Uh, this guy, George, from Halo Reach. There's June. This is my personal favorite. The Vigilant armor looks awesome. I Looks love the cloak good. that they kept around his Benjamin, if you want to watch the actual helmet, stream, there's a link in the description. Uh, the whole point armor. of watching this stream uh, is tons, to hear feedback on stuff and talk with the community from, uh, while we're watching the stream. Memories of Reach, you might even say, Jay. And then our favorite bad boy of the Spartans, Emil, rocking the Wrath armor. Having that helmet to a T, it's great. Boom. And look at this helping hands. You're going to see our, our favorite Reach Ooh. characters also rocking this helping hands assassination. Uh, looks way too good as we slow-mo this down to see exactly what's going on. Knees him in the back and then <laughs> twist the arm right off. Oh, it's not good. Then the ankle stab oh. as well. And the arm. Oh. Helping hands, folks. Always remember to lend a helping hand. Uh, next up is the Helios Phaeton, a legendary Man. variant. Wait this you thing guys looks play too with good. This guy. Yep. Increased armor and agility. It's got armed with homing missiles and rapid fire pods, and also a chain mounted beam. Uh, it's deadly, of course, and you're going to need a few friends to take it down. Uh, we're gonna, don't forget to send us your questions. Increased the armor and mobility? Jeez. Tag at Halo in the tweet. If you do get a hold of us, we'll make sure to give you a rec pack to say thank you for joining us here today. Uh, but next up, Jay, I think we're ready to get into the next component of today's show and possibly the most anticipated part of Memories of I think of all update. time in any of our live streams. Oh, I thought you were going to say of all time in any of our lives. Maybe Which that's might it. even be true. That folks. might be true. Yeah, guys, there's no point. I, I'm sad that the Falcon it, wasn't in it, but I'm not going to be upset or anything that's like that just because changes, changes, it's changes something things that things they never the mentioned right. that would be there. Or anything. It's just the community guys, getting hyped for it. John Unishek as well as Jeff Lanskoff joining us. Gentlemen, awesome to have you with us. We see that you both wore black today. Mm. Can you, tell, can you tell us about Coordinated. This? Coordinated yes. for infection. Very much planned. Dark All right. <laughs> Glad to have you with us. Uh, Jeff, your engineer on the team. Unishek, of course, on the community team. Let's talk about infection mode. Uh, right after launch, the community made, uh, I would say, polite requests, um, <laughs> only a few of them, to, for the infection game mode. Um, and it's here now. So tell us, Jeff, I mean, where did everything start uh, with infection and, and how has that road been? Yeah. Um, 
it's been quite the journey. So we've been wanting to get this in for a really long time, and mm -hmm. now we finally had the the time to actually make it happen. So um, we we basically started from the standpoint of we wanted to make it a little bit different than Halo 4. We wanted to make sure we didn't repeat some of the mistakes we made in Halo 4 with, mm -hmm. with custom game options, that kind of thing, while still making kind of a fun, unique game mode. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Cool. And John, <laughs> tell us about, I mean, you've been working on this mode almost, I mean, for a while, almost every day in playtests and stuff. Oh. Um, what do you think about the, the, the final version we got here? Oh, I'm super excited for the final version. Uh -huh. I can't wait for people to actually get their hands on it. It's just absolute chaos. You're scared the entire Where time. Where are you going the same? You're, you're probably not going to survive in this mode. It's just That's too true. hard to live as a human. Uh -huh. But if you play it perfectly, you can make some of the sickest plays. Sweet, sweet. I think uh, we should go ahead and set up Infection on Malignant. Uh, John, tell us about this map we're going to be playing. Okay, Malignant is a version of Overgrowth. Mm -hmm. And it's completely custom made with random little rooms, cages, kind of different pathways mm -hmm. set up. And I tried to make it so the zombies are filtered into certain areas. Humans can hold out in other areas. But ultimately, I wanted to make it just chaotic. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to, of course, have uh, <coughs> it, it, with Infection uh, not only now, but also in the future, looking at not only developer maps, but also, of course, community maps. We know there's a ton of awesome community Infection maps. And I I'm sure once the mode launches, we're going to see some really talented forgers creating some good oh, yeah. this No doubt. Story. No yeah. doubt. All right, I think we are going to be ready to jump into this right about now. I have to admit, I am probably one of the worst infection players in the room, but I am going to try to put on a show. Mm. But we should probably start off with the guys down there, if you ask me. So let's see, John, walk <laughs> us through, for anyone who's checking out infection for the first time, walk us through what uh, we might be able to expect here uh, at the start of the game. What are we looking for? Uh, you want to find weapons scattered throughout the map. Like, I've got a couple DMR, like a DMR somewhere. On all of my custom-made maps, the dev-infected ones, they also all have a Halo CE Magnum yep. in super secret places that can be extremely helpful if you get your hands on them. Okay, sweet. Uh, and then you also want to try and find a good place to hold out Ooh, no. as you try and <laughs> stay alive as the zombies try and infect you. And of course, as a 12-player mode infection, right? Uh, and you're going to be looking uh, with how many uh, infected players starting off uh, at the beginning of the match? Uh, two alpha zombies, and they're going to have a camo effect. Mm -hmm. I almost got killed by one right there. Uh, they're going to have this like camo effect that helps them get those initial <coughs> infections because those are usually the hardest ones. Right. I, uh, I can actually attest to that right now. Um, this might be a, a good round for the humans because I may have started as one of the alpha zombies, and I'm finally getting kills now. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, that. one thing you didn't know, the uh, <laughs> zombies have the, uh, also have two, the effect, uh, the reach effect. Uh, sometimes you'll see in match uh, Whatever it's called, the like, smoky oh, green man, uh, alpha, effect. Let me set the controller reach. down and go make a sandwich. They do right. have that. So, so that's kind of cool. And you could turn yeah. that on and off. So at least there's maybe even grab a burger. That can take it uh, over as the infected player. You know, the chances of two people going to make a sandwich are a lot Ethan, what I watch? A lot less. That's true. So it makes it a lot better to have two alpha zombies. And, uh, it, rem it reminds the the sandwich play actually <laughs> reminds me of the Ascension Burger spots uh, in Halo 2. But more than 12 head -head people be allowed for around. a custom game? Yeah, you can do 16 player. Ascension 1v1s and then drop down to all those different platforms. Oh, in the the map, often referred to as burger spots uh, because the player then went to go get a cheeseburger uh, and they would win the game without a doubt. Yeah, uh, or or end up like super bouncing on top of yep. the towers. <laughs> yeah, yep. that craziness. All right, so what do we have right now? What's the latest status um, in this game? Let's see, how many infected do we have? So if you hold back on your post game or your actual scoreboard, yep. I think, Jeff, they're on your screen. If you hold back, you can show how many players oh, are that's infected. Cool. As yep. long that looks awesome. As well as which ones have the alpha infected. Cool. As you can see on Jeff's, he's got two oh, alphas right there. Right. Almost got someone right there, too. But you can see. I don't know if the infected sword is a placeable weapon. I really hope it is. Are, uh, I hope it is. Too. I hope cool. it's just not automatic towards Ooh, the. Ooh, a zombie hunter badge! Right you know. before I got killed there, so I never got that one. Stay so. in my hiding spot right now. And of course, for anyone who anyone unfamiliar with infections, zombies of course can't pick up any weapons on map, while Spartans are able to pick up like units. Uh, more zone weapons uh, added in the arena. Um, I don't think uh, so. Might find around the map. <laughs> Let's see how many we got left. We have. Two, two yeah, guys, two this survivors. comes out tomorrow. Only one now. Oh, no, 10 seconds left. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. Six seconds. Get down there. No way. Humans are going to win this one. He's weak. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> no. Humans survived. They're on my POV. I didn't know there was a gate there. Oh, yeah. There's a grate you put there. 
Yeah, which I explains, tried to make the middle a little more viable. Which we, explains why you, the Spartan was hiding there. This yeah. map uh, visually yeah. fits Infection very well. I also will say I choked and missed a bunch of thrusts. Oh, boy. So <laughs> I definitely have uh, Jay's Curse of the Notifications on my account. Yes, right as do I. Yes. Well, I know, uh, 200 plus people watching, well, War Eagle. Why can't these people come to my Twitch like streams yep. and my right. Duquesne 23 YT actually, it's channel it's streams? Before the show where yeah. No one ever comes to my streams. If Guys, Jay would links in the description to I my main Halo channel that I upload to now mostly. Oh um, it's Duquesne 23 that YT, me to and also my up. Twitch, where yeah, I you, stream you a lot out. of Halo and forging custom uh, games and all that type as stuff. As you pointed out, Andy, the uh -huh. bottom middle area has now no. some... We should go check those out. Has, like, some Subscribe and go follow those. Because before we noticed no one was actually going down there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I ended up taking the time to add that wall and add that holdout spot. Uh, and it's actually been pretty decent, as we see someone's down there right now as last man standing. All right, so th this is a much faster round, which is good. Yeah. The humans... No oh, thanks to me. Yeah, no Edward, chance. you do. I remember. Some of y'all. Let's see. Uh, glad to see we're also getting some questions from yeah. the folks on Waypoint. Let's see. Oopies wants to know... And also follow my Twitter, guys, so because and it's also in the description. Yeah, That's yes. where so, I tweet uh, out a lot of so times that I'm about starting to stream. Starting tomorrow, so. uh, you can jump right... I know. There's a lot of y'all that come to my streams. but Not 218 of y'all. Gotcha. I died. I died. One of the few times I kill Bravo. But yeah, it's uh, going to be tomorrow. Actually, yep. you guys announced the date. Awesome, so Toxic. It will be going Thank live you. tomorrow, the Infection Appreciate playlist, it. featuring a ton of maps. We should take guesses yep. on got how Got those Twitch emotes, got that Forge Ball, I think my, for perspective, uh, my little when Rift Ball dropped, palm. over 50% of Halo 5 players jumped we're, in for you know, We're about halfway to be able to getting more games. emotes and everything, Which is pretty so crazy. that's exciting. Just to, to, I mean, most people who play Halo 5... They hey, someone just followed me on playlists. Twitch! You know, I think throughout <laughs> Halo history, we've seen Thank you, Vengeance. I think that's your name. Playlist. They might go back and forth between one to two. Yeah, I didn't course, disable you the watching, following um, stuff. They might so jump around between a lot of playlists. You'll like see, you'll see it pop up if you follow on Twitch. Wow. Oh I don't think so. What? I just took them all out. It wasn't on screen, so no one saw it. Didn't happen. Vids or it didn't happen, man. Uh, but I'm curious. I think we might even see higher than that for infection. Yeah. If I had to guess, uh, we might see something more like uh, as high as you know, 60, 70 percent of players jumping in, which is quite a statement if you think about the millions of players who are um, playing. The fact that that many would jump in and check out the mode, but we'll have to see exactly yeah. how many do play tomorrow. I'm excited to see. Uh, we hope all of you Man, are excited to play. Yeah, what's fun about this mode is like, you know, definitely for someone like me who's not great at shooting, this is like a way for me to kind of just No, this isn't Halo, the Prophet's Bane. This is just a basically a green energy a safe, sword. Friendly zombie filled Safe-ish, environment. yeah, kind of yeah. way. Ah, Maroon, Absolutely. thanks for I following. I feel like I'm still contributing <laughs> most of the time. I feel like, man, surprisingly, I'm doing better right <laughs> now War. as a human versus zombie. As a human? No, Ooh. as I said that. As I Nathan, said, no problem. Yep, that? yep, that was, okay. uh, that was on Jay's <laughs> point of view. Perfect timing for so me well to done, say that. Jay. Caster's curse right there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Terrible. Something we definitely noticed with mm -hmm. uh, Infection is we get a lot of variety of skill levels, and uh, it seems like they play Not a, a stalker, lot stalker, you are obsessed with those emotes. Cool. Relatively skilled players, a lot of relatively unskilled players, and mm -hmm. you get a very, very still even and fun. All right, so later, Will. Right. Thanks for watching. Yeah, one thing... Uh, that helped with the hey, AR King. choice as Thank starting, you for the AR shotgun on Twitch. choice, was uh -huh. playing against Pro Team, yep. not missing a single headshot for the entire match. Yeah, Eclipse, actually, was, thank yeah, you for the follow. We, uh, I know we saw oh, we're going follow train. about that um, decision as well, but uh, I guess, what was the result there? Uni it's a green you variant of Prophet's Bane? No, it doesn't look like the Prophet's Bane. Brian, uh, thanks for the follow. Starts, no, it looks like an energy sword. With, it doesn't look like the Prophet's Bane. You, you start pistol shot. Prophet's Bane has infection. more rounded that's, edges. That's it doesn't do. have concave but edges we played coming it more in. And it more. has the rounded no outside. One, no one was going outside so. of the strongest spots. They were spawning, just running. Yes, there. Michael, I do stream on Twitch. On map, Link is in the description below. I stream actually quite a lot on Twitch. They'd go to the spot and hold up for the entire game and just use that pistol. Stream all types of games. last game I streamed was Battlefield. I stream Halo mostly promote people to pick up weapons, and making the swap to assault rifle really helped with that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, we're at last man standing. Here we go. Same spot. Let's on the other side of that gate. Yep. Cursed gate. <laughs> All right, here we go. Everyone, three. Oh. oh. Two. oh. <laughs> Got him. Now that's a scary sight, man. When you're last man standing, and there's like <laughs> Not <good>. eight zombies <laughs> walking right towards you. Not good at all. Let's see. George being the big winner right there. Mr. Marks wants to know on Twitter. Uh, thanks, thanks for joining us. 
I do a game and thank you for the follow. First, shouldn't we? Ooh, uh, sure. Yeah, excellent idea. Uh, we we'll won Forge. So, uh, we uh, won Forge. I mean, the same we won Forge. Earlier uh, is going to be Taylor fit for uh, Infection as well. And once we go into details, you'll of course also <coughs> see the new Infection medals. Uh, in that screen as well. Yeah, yeah. I love post game metal uh, screens well and he's total metal, destruction and all that uh, stuff. Well killed most, killed by, and a whole bunch all of that things. This is so much better. Metals all on uh, Waypoint now as well. You have a lot more medals than I do. Do I? Yeah. Uh, in the PGCR, we've also added a Time Survives stat. Sweet, yeah. You uh, see it on, on the right side right now. Very sure. cool. I think Jeff yeah. can talk to a little bit more. Yeah. We want to encourage, uh, we found players play infection and Largely one of two ways: they either go for the points, go for go for the kills, or they. I'll probably just stream like on Twitch later tonight. As a human, mm -hmm. uh, war. Of, uh, I don't know what I'll stream. Survive, trying to be the last. I'll probably player. stream Halo. And so we wanted to probably work on my Blood Gulch map. I have some testing for way. it and stuff First like that. First, you get points for being last man standing. You get points for surviving around. Are you see Nitro? We show time Thank survived, you. As well as on the next page, we show a breakdown of all the different kind of kills. And right. if you did even survive any rounds, like Unishek here did. Mm -hmm. Noble Spartan, thank zero you. For everybody. Right, yeah. You got you got Alpha Infections, Assists, Last Stand Kills, and Round Survived on that screen, as you can see, uh, as well as your your typical KDA accuracy, power weapon kills, and even damage dealt here, uh, which is certainly cool to see as well. And once again, you can jump straight into a player's recap screen to see uh, once again medals and uh, the killed most, as well as your tool of destruction, which for an infected player, of course is going to be the energy sword. Uh, let's take, uh, as I was saying, our next question comes from Mr. Merckx on Twitter. He wants to know how many, how many infection maps will be in the rotation? Do you have an estimate That's a great that? question. Yeah, sure. I believe it's nine. We have my three dev infected maps, and then we History. got uh, <laughs> the six community-made maps right. that we were scouting out for, and then we ended up working with the Forgers pretty closely mm -hmm. to get them ready for infection cool. at launch. Sweet. Yeah, I know people are excited. Uh, some of the community infection maps are incredible. Yeah. Um, oh. Game Cheat, you know they're going to wait. We're going to have uh, a chance to look at. Uh, do we have, are we actually playing on the Crypt? We're going to play on the Crypt. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, Which this is a great one. Yeah. Yeah, you got to wait. Awesome, uh, yeah, community made map. There's a bunch of other ones, and they all look super different, right? The Crypt has that certain eerie vibe, but there's yep. one I know that looked super industrial. Um, so excited to, to check out those community maps. Uh, as well, but let's go ahead and get into a ma her up. Uh, match on the crypt. Yeah, Mr. Merks, thank you for your question on Twitter. Uh, you will be getting a rec pack as well. Keep those questions coming uh, while we have the experts here joining us today. Uh, I'm excited to put up another average performance uh, in infection <laughs> from me. I had um, one one good round where I got the zombie hunter. I always feel like oh, I'm really? that's killing five zombies without yeah. dying. Yeah. I, I saw on the yeah. PGCR. For me, the PGCR doesn't really have a. Uh, if, I wish there was distance traveled for me because I'm more of a wanderer. That's cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, you know, almost like a soccer stat when yeah. you see how many how distance traveled for yep. each player, yep. which is. Uh, yeah, we definitely. The Spartan Fitbit. Yeah, you know. that's what I need because I'm more took 10,000 steps in your match today. I'm more yeah, I got a new headset, kills, Nathan. I, I, uh, my I other one broke, so these are A40s. Um, and then the round kind of ends, and then I'm there with my sword. I'm like, yeah, great job, everyone. <laughs> good talk. See you out there. It was uh, good. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is going to be Infection coming tomorrow with the Crypt from Wyvern Zoo, I believe. Yes. Right? Mm. Uh, Wyvern Zoo, she's, she's awesome. Uh, great has, job on this map. Some incredible maps indeed. Yeah. What is that? Is one of Darfur? Them. Thank we you so much for the follow. I think I said that right. But I don't think we've ever shared uh, any video uh, yeah, yet. Screens no, don't be, really do it justice. No, yeah. There all. might like, be some video. I mean, just take a look at this thing. The way that they've used Forge is incredible. We're going to jump in right now. I am not going to do all too well. And that's going to be it. Let's see. Yeah, the atmosphere in this oh, is and, just I mean, awesome. And just look, I, I got to say, this map, it, it's so different, right, from what you just saw in Overgrowth, yeah. right? Overgrowth has those very specific play spaces, um, whereas here on the Crypt, uh, I mean, what we've got are, are just nooks and crannies and corners and smoky, foggy areas and lefts, uh, excuse me, cliffs and ledges. Uh, there's a really cool place to play. Uh, just an incredible Community Forge map, and we are just really lucky to have such incredible Community Forgers who we can team up with yep. uh, to deliver, right? A, a, a community Monster Daddy, like thank infection. you for the follow. It kind of needs these community maps to give it such personality. Such I'm so sorry, I didn't ride the Falcon. And you have community forgers who know Halo so Forger, much thank about you for the follow. game type. Um, and and what, what works well, what type of spaces, what elevations do you need? Or what are the lunge distances, right? There's so much to consider. Um, uh, John, do you want to talk about, I mean, there's... The, what was that process like? All right, Darfur, thank you. Some of these forgers to, to get these maps kind of dialed in for infection. Uh, the process wasn't too bad. Most of them already have had like them made and planned out mm -hmm. because they wanted to 
just provide something awesome just in case. And they wanted to have it ready. Right. And then as other people Chicken saw, Nugget Muffin Devil said, thank ready, you for the follow. Like, I should make one too. So mm -hmm. we actually had a decent pool to choose from that were already pretty darn good right. and ready to go, almost. And then we just worked on finding all the spots <laughs> that could be exploited. We had pro team like jumping around the map, boosting, yeah. sliding, finding every little nook and cranny. Mr. Happy, to make sure, um, like, the map Mr. Happy Sadness, actually, Weber Zoo mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. she never that like was theme this off of destiny. Process, like I'm 100% uh, serious. Because she did not theme this off of destiny. It just uh, feedback sending it to it the just forges, looks like forges, destiny. I guess up the terrain, uh, block off certain areas, and then get it back into our testing environment. It's just we had of, a chance, folks. It's over. It's over. Ah! Oh man. <laughs> Were you last man? Right I was there? last man standing. That was probably my my greatest round to date, as Jay would say, of our lives. Of our lives. Um, <laughs> stream. So I'm glad every. I don't think we caught it on stream though. Somehow. So we gotta we gotta we gotta talk to the guys in the back. It was an epic last man standing moment, but now apparently didn't even happen. <laughs> Um, I, just, I love the look of this map. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's I really do. <laughs> I almost feel... Tell me if you're with me. I almost feel like I want my Halo 1 flashlight. For, yes, right? exactly, Don't you feel like dude, you need it? Absolutely. Um, it would be re very helpful at this moment. You know, one, one thing about this map in particular is it's, I believe, Fail. the only map that uses Forerunner weapons. Mm -hmm. All the other ones yep. are, are very UNSC-based, human weapon-based. Am I going to tweak Entombed? When, I probably will. I'll probably mess style. with them so too. They ended up putting this stuff. Uh, Wyvern Zoo, she ended up putting mm. up different probably weapons do that. to mm -hmm. go along with that different theme. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love this map. It's too cool. Um, I would love. I mean, it's also wild. Unicheck, you and I were looking at it in Forge. Just, I mean, how much work has been done with the fog and the smoke effects, right? Yeah. I mean, the map looks entirely different. Uh, oh yeah, you know Green Skull would love the Green Sword. Such a such a neat environment is established. Yeah, um, when, on this map. Oh, I wish kids. We saw, without generating the lighting, yeah. it's very simple. Uh, it doesn't look yeah. too crazy. It looks Slash, pretty cool. You should see some of her new maps like that this. she's working on. And then you generate the Seriously. lighting, and it's completely changed. And she's it's got incredible. This entirely new creepy atmosphere to it. Yeah, I don't think we've talked about it's definitely yet, one of the best forgers that, out um, there that the player types have. So Spartans, of course, have all Spartan abilities. Yep, that's right. Yep. And uh, the infected players, I believe, have thrust and uh, stabilize. Is that right? and yeah, clamber in there too. Oh yeah, of course, of course, yep. Clamber as well. It'd be difficult to get to some of these ledges without it. Yeah, so we wanted the oh, thanks, infected bearded. players to have a kind Thank of you. unique movement feel. Right. And uh, in the past, we've had. Kind of floatier infected. Did a pretty so good job for only having about four days to work on it, I guess. Uh, you move yeah. a little bit faster, and uh, thrusters were were a really big one where we we weren't sure whether we wanted them or not, and we found that a lot of times when you're infected, uh, making the really fun plays was trying to sneak up on someone, just kind of juking them with your with mm -hmm. your thrusters. Yep. Uh, Swedish Halo Forger, yeah, thank uh, you for the follow. Appreciate it. Also, it feels like when you're. I'm sorry. I think I missed James Ryan. Uh, thank you for the follow. Also, or if you don't have a great infected squad later mm -hmm. in the round uh it, using that thrust to close the distances between bridges and gaps and high ledges Absolutely. feels pretty crucial that's coming from me who kind of needs it but uh, um she actually uh, does stream uh some on social, twitch but i think i know she does that the, uh so go look up on twitch mode, i think her twitch so channel is just her name the weber zoo the oh yeah very very cautious movement compared to regular mm -hmm. Regular play, especially with the um, oh, alpha infected, which don't show up on radar. Mm -hmm. So that's a really big factor. We notice is early on, people are very, very cautious moving around the map. Right. Yeah, I noticed, <coughs> I noticed myself. I was able to pull off some jumping antics when I was uh, an alpha zombie, which pleased me, pleased me greatly. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Don't go there, Jay. Was that you? I'm trying Is to. Is that you, that out. light rifle? Let's see. So, the Twitch stream, <laughs> at, apparently, as a collective, the Twitch stream all wants to know uh, if the infective, uh, what type of wep weapons the infected can have in custom games. And I feel like we should probably talk about custom game oh, yeah. options oh, cool, yeah. now. Run us through, uh, off the top of your head, what kind of stuff can players play with in custom games? So, um, of course, you can have any weapon you want for infected mm -hmm. in custom games. Uh, we don't want to limit that in any way. Uh, so, you can have any kind of weapon. We also actually added a new feature for this uh, update, which lets you set the total number of rounds in your starting weapons. Now, that only works for magazine-based weapons, but uh, it means you can, if you want an infected mode where the infected have, say, single rockets for whatever reason that they can right. find ammo for on the map, you could do that, um, cool. as well as any kind of flexibility with, with infected. Mm -hmm. We also enable player traits um, 
which is part of our regular custom games UI. We have so a whole list of traits you can change for all players. Well, in Infection, we removed uh, setting traits for all players, and you can set traits for human players, mm -hmm. the last Spartan standing, or last squad standing, if there's multiple uh, set in the custom games, mm -hmm. as well as the alpha infected and the regular infected. Sweet. So you should have full flexibility there. Um, in terms oh, of uni. just overall infection. I like holdout infection. We've got all kinds of scoring. So score for being last man standing, score for killing the last man standing, score for killing a zombie mm -hmm. or right. infected, kill for kill, score for killing a player, all the, the standard stuff you'd expect, as well as the ability to do points over time and um, turn on and off alpha infected. Just basically the, the stuff you'd come to expect from an infected. Oh my player. god, the Unishake <laughs> last man standing! Oh, 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 oh my <laughs> gosh. What is happening? Oh, <laughs> no. 15 seconds. Okay, we everyone slow down. We have got to get him. I don't even right, want to know. I don't even want to know what Whoa, that multi kill was. My we, hands are all right, we go. Right we go now. We have no go, time. Go, go. We go now. Go, go. I'm waiting. I'm hiding. Go, go, go. No! Get him! Oh, yes! oh my gosh. Oh, yes. That was insane. How fitting. How fitting. Oh man. That was way too intense. That was insane, <laughs> man. Sorry, Jeff, we interrupted I was, like, you. I was screaming. The, the no, not at all. The Unishek last man standing. I saw it was about to happen. <laughs> that was amazing. Darn it. Uh, sure to scare him. Thank you for the follow. I didn't want him to do that well, personally. <laughs> Darn it. Well played. We'll Unishek. be hearing about that for a while. Well played. Well played. But yeah, so that's what we were talking about. You have to play it extremely well. Oh, happy you're birthday, a, Toxic. You're a human and want to survive throughout Toxic the monkeys? entire round. And so so yeah. you're saying you played extremely well. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> we all have to play like like uni if we want to uh, oh, be good gosh. at it. Well, we had, we had a couple other humans survive to like the last 30 seconds, right? Uh, and they did really well too. They they got it. <laughs> Big thanks to the little guys out there. So like the minions that you had <laughs> make it possible for you to win. Your cannon fodder that yes. uh, took the shots for you. <laughs> Shout out to cannon five. <laughs> Man. No. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Was there anything that we had yet to cover? Uh, Terrible. For, I think we were just talking about traits for... Uh, yeah, um, traits, and then we've got the standard infected custom mail options you expect for the mode itself. I think if they would have had like two seconds Most longer, they would have killed them. Not even you know, two, before. like one. Infection uh, has a, such a big custom games community that I'm sure will only grow uh, even further after people are able to jump in and match me. What's up, Tim? Uh, but I'm sure we're also going to see some pretty wild tweaks, like you were saying, of infection as a game mode. Um, and, and on certain custom maps and with wild custom settings that kind of create an entirely new experience. So very excited to see what people do with that as well. Yeah, one thing I'm definitely very excited for is uh, I played a lot of custom games in 3, Reach, and 4, which were based around infection, but were just completely different. Um, right. Completely different experiences like um, uh, Duck Hunt and yeah. you know, those kind of setups, or, mm -hmm. or Jenga, other really fun modes. So we wanted to make sure we enabled everything you possibly need to Sweet. make as many custom games mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah, you can't really say legendary custom games without Jenga, Duck Hunt, and things of the like, so <laughs> yeah. I'm sure people are excited to hear that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have next. Uh, go ahead and continue sending us your questions. Thank you to the entire Twitch stream for your infection question. I assume we don't have rec packs for everyone watching just yet, um, but go ahead. If, you're, if your question is selected, whether it's on Waypoint, Twitter, or elsewhere, uh, you will grab a rec pack. So let's go ahead and see exactly what we have ne next. Uh, first of all, Infection looks awesome. Yes, uh, it does. I know everyone who's watching is excited for to check out all the community maps, check out the game settings in matchmaking, as well as kind of toy around with their with Yeah, their I'm mode. sure you can assassinate John, an Jeff, infected can't player. Thank you enough for the work on the mode. Yep. Uh, I know it's probably one of the most anticipated Halo 5 features, if you will, game modes, um, that has been added post-launch. Uh, so on behalf of everyone watching, thank you so much for your work. Thank you also for joining us today. And, Pretty uh, good. We'll Thanks for the follow. Tomorrow. Absolutely. Awesome. Good. Thanks, Forge. All right, next up, Jay, of course, we're going to go into our next set of community multiplayer showcase oh. clips. We haven't seen these yet. Neither have you. Let's go ahead and jump into them. First one is Sniper Lineup by Octodeath. Okay. He's playing a match of Big Team Battle. Looks like he's about to pick up this exact sniper rifle. So let's see what Octodeath has in store. If I have to guess, it could be eight Space Bab. Um, Thanks for the ball. Not sure what I would guess. Oh, so let's see. Picks nice. up one. Oh Lots of players trying to. Oh my God. You're going to get the flag? I'm going to get the flag? No one's really sure. So no, no, you get the flag. Looks like, oh, it looks like 
pretty good clips there as it looks like there's a miscommunication on the other side, but Octodeath makes sure to take advantage of that and picks up four easy kills. I believe he picks up the over. We're going to watch it one more time. Picks up one headshot. This guy thinking about moving two, three, four. Yes, he picks up the over, so not bad. <coughs> Next up is going to be a road trip from Omni Voltage. Let's see what Omni Voltage has in store for us. <laughs> Double display. smart. Looks like might be Jack and this hog. Yes, indeed, as the name might suggest. With the, his other guy Let's on Let's see. Right He's going to take an enemy gunner. Oh, I've seen this one. For the ride, boom, hits the thrust and throws his opponent off of the map. we got to see that one one more time. This is too good. Jax the hog takes a little bit of damage there. Looks like he might be taking some damage from a rocket hog from the other side, but sends this thing off the cliff, and then Jason Bourne his way back onto the map <laughs> and stays awesome. alive. A wow. fine, fine play there. Robert Shard, Indeed. thank you for the buff. Uh, that was from Omni Voltage. The last clip is going to be carbonated, carbinated, carbonated from uh, our friend Mist93. Picks up a Spartan laser kill. Shout out to the Spartan laser buff. And I'm going to make a double with the carbine. Oh, look at this. Perfect shot. Picks up. Looks like a uh, running riot there with the carbine. See exactly what else they have. Goes with the kill tack as well. Gets another carrier kill. So this is some of the finest carbine flag defense I have seen. I believe he ended with atrocity there. I know. Watch it one more time. Though. Yeah, I know. Picks Seriously, base gun. And wait for this. Yeah, destroyed. so that Screen's a bug will be away. fixed. Picks up the double there with the carbine. You know. And uh, going to make, I mean, by the way, on a running riot and picks up uh, quite a few more kills as well. There's the attacker, I think. Yes, indeed. Picks up that trophy. So, yeah, yeah, I believe wow. so. So, looks like a fine, fine carbine aided clip and pun from you, my friend, Mist93. <laughs> well done. Beautiful Never mind, Mist93. It looks like our producer Chad came up with that pun, so we apologize in advance <laughs> for you having to deal with your beautiful clip being paired with that awful, awful pun. <laughs> uh, next up is going to be a community update talking about everything that's happening in the Halo community. First yeah, off, they're going to show the, the new Halo, features uh, of Forge. The Pro League here. Uh, talk about PAX East. Yeah. It was an awesome tournament. I got to go over to Boston. Tell you what, first of all, it wasn't as cold as it normally is. And not buried in East. snow like it was last time we were there. Man, last time we were at PAX East, how tall? There, there were, were cars, like, buried. Ruined. The plowing. Yeah, they were like, ruined. They weren't going anywhere. Uh, there were cars that had been stuck in the snow for weeks and abandoned yep. all over town. Yep. It was horrific. And it was cold and windy. Post-apocalyptic. Yeah. Uh, but this year, much warmer and much nicer. And we had a Halo tournament of our own. Uh, I mean, we had a bunch of teams there. Just talk about how Paxis formed. Uh, originally, the spot was going to be given to Allegiance for their second place hmm. uh, finish at the Halo World Championship, but they actually split in four separate directions. Oh. So we invited each of them to ask I the question of which roster might be the best one. Yeah. Uh, in the end, it was Suspector who joined Evil Geniuses. That squad was able to take the second place in the Pro League. So congrats. Yeah, to them Forge as after well. this. Uh, next up, Halo just tweeted Fire, out, which was uh, just happened this past weekend. Got to give a shout out to all the teams uh, that are right, from that event and were able to. Y'all, y'all so gonna be so to pumped. Go see at this event this happened at the new studio down in Burbank we had Dan Gaskin there on screen Forge time uh, Forge Dan time everyone Caster Booth a great great talented caster from Europe joining for the first time but you see the different teams on screen here there's Enigma 6 as well but if you want to get a full recap on that summer qualifier you can check out the video on halo.gg but here are the teams <coughs> uh, that you saw in that qualifier it was Enigma 6 Optic Gaming Renegades Denial Allegiance Textures yeah Enigma Textures and Soul some other things Red. yeah uh, were those teams that were able to be at so. the tournament. Once again, if you want to see the full recap, go to Halo.gg. As a reminder, the open call. Don't tell me to calm down, Game Cheat. This weekend, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, and the LCQ is going to be May 22nd, where we will find the final two spots. You see right there, these are the teams that have qualified for Pro League so far. It's going to be CLG, Evil Geniuses, and then last weekend, Allegiance, Envious, Enigma 6, and Renegades, and two spots remain. These last two spots are open for Competitors across the board, whether you're an amateur aspiring player or a player who's been fighting for Memory years, Reach to update is going to be out Those tomorrow. Are going to be awarded. Don't so, to tune hype. In, uh, on Twitch.tv slash Halo. As a reminder, here's what to expect. We're at the last stage of the qualifiers. Open qualifiers 14th to 15th, and your LCQ once again that weekend of the 22nd. And then yeah, I already know what's coming, Slash. We'll officially begin with weekly matches. You'll be able to tune in to watch your favorite teams playing, and if you want to compete, you'll be able to compete in the open circuit, which is the challenger component as well. So, with that said, let's Busy talk about... Busy for you guys. Man. Wow. The world they of sports never stops. Yeah, it really doesn't. You, as you might imagine. So I got no complaints about that, though. Congrats uh, to everyone who has qualified so far. I also want to give a shout-out to all of you joining, uh, who have been watching on Twitch. Uh, it means a great deal, of course, and it yep. allows us to continue with yep. Halo Esports. Next up, we got to talk about the Initiation Alesky... 
excuse me, Initiation Escalation. Oh, my Rangers, Hattie, I wish, which man. Just came out. I wish. It includes Halo Initiation 1 through 3 and Halo Escalation number 1 through 12. Uh, awesome. With writing from both Brian Reed and Chris, Sh Chris Schlerf. Oh, look at uh, that. We also got a f oh, we have it? It appears. I haven't even seen that's, this That's thing all yet. of them together like that? This oh, that's too great. Cool. I'm, wow. Thank you, thank you very much, Chad. We'll show you a little bit, a peek inside. If Put them up, Game Team. Put them up. As well. This looks... <laughs> Fantastic. You've also Loud got noises. From, uh, That's awesome. The writers here. So you'll see little uh, side notes in the margins. Uh, so, really, a fantastic collector's piece, or if you want to read deeper uh, into the story, uh, just different anecdotes from the writers and on all the stories. It's also got a forward from Frank O'Connor. You've got annotations from Always the writers uh, throughout the book. Uh, uh, obviously, a hardcover piece that looks fantastic. Uh, you've also got some behind the scenes stuff from um, the, the stories as well. So we'll go ahead. Super cool. Yeah, absolutely. So here you go, James. James is not that. getting that bad. Looks like we've got some more as well, and we're going to keep going <coughs> now uh, with, I, with, excuse me, with some products. Uh, these look fantastic. <sighs> these are nice the too. Astro A40 TR UNSC Mod Kit, which is a whole bunch Woo! of letters and numbers, which mean gaming headset. Uh, it includes noise-canceling ear cushions, voice-isolating mic, closed-back speaker tagged with the UNSC logo, and also the Halo-branded padded headband of course cool i just well. bought so a40s I think be available right around e3 time frame Not really which i guess i couldn't wait till e3 time, time frame did. so be be on the lookout for these uh in the, the very near future right well e3. looks like i'm gonna have to buy those now right now uh. tell me how comfortable are you jay can't what? hear us at all because these have the noise fine, canceling fine works. noise isolation noise canceling works. well done jay well done i've always friend. been a big uh I've always been a big fan of Astros. I've had, I've used the A40s. I've had them for years. They make a great pair of headphones. These feel great. I really like. One v one me Warzone game cheat. One v one me Warzone. Like a, the, what is that? Muffled, muffled. Yeah, the, like I'm a million teacher miles from away. South Park or something. Peanuts. Yeah. Yes, peanuts. Um, that's what it is. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's exactly. Thank you, the uh, teacher from peanuts. Charlie Brown and South Park. They get mixed up a lot. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Richard. They always do. <laughs> Same time period and everything. It doesn't um, matter. It's Halo. The letter, I have the eight fifties Halo. The Halo eight fifties also. Super premium. I buy food. everything That's Halo. Fantastic. They look real good. They're awesome. Uh, yes, indeed. Also, May is Military Appreciation Month. We want to give a shout out to our friends at Operation Supply Drive. Many of you might be familiar with the charity. Uh, of course, they support the troops uh, in a bunch of unique ways. They're kicking off their fifth annual 8 Bit Salute fundraiser. Uh, they're a charity program that provides video game par care packages to troops and also helps develop support programs for veterans. Uh, so for 8-Bit Salute, you can join a team, you can fundraise solo, or you can make donations directly. Yeah, no, bought to mine too early. Oh, well, I needed them, but... The details. Once again, a big shout-out to them and all that they do. <laughs> hey, Game Team, I do play Halo 5, but Next I play up, Forge. Play Halo 5, play so. You just heard Infections coming. Going to be available tomorrow. Forge, Forge, Forge! It will take up a new social slot. Uh, we also, it was going to originally replace Griff Ball as the community playlist, but we got a bunch of Griff Ball fixes coming in tomorrow's update that we hadn't talked about just yet. So Griff Ball will be staying around for at least a few weeks. I'll keep you updated on that. And, of course, it won't be going away forever. I will be bringing in some new playlists as well. So Griff Ball fixes coming in tomorrow's update, and that'll stick around for a little bit. Also, Team Arena Summer Preview is live right now, looking at some uh, different map layouts for Team Arena and working directly with pro players on that feedback. Uh, over the next two weeks or so until the 20th of May. So if you want to opine, you can go to halowaypoint.com slash forums after you've played in the playlist and let us know what you think about those as well. Next up, the Master Chief Tattoo. This is way too cool. We have Maxi from Germany, a massive, massive Halo fan. <laughs> Just got a pretty unique Halo tattoo. Uh, she sent this video to us, and we asked her if she'd be interested in doing the world premiere on the live stream. We said, yeah, it's an incredible one-of-a-kind Halo tattoo. Let's go ahead and check out the world premiere of that video. I don't care about a tattoo, I want some forge! My name is Maxi. I have a very special day ahead for me, a dream come true because I am getting Of course I'm excited to have tattoo. dead bodies added in forge, fan. absolutely. I'm here at Marine Platz in Munich right now. The studio is back there and they have prepared something special for me. I have they probably would just get rid of Grip Ball um, in the playlist and add go. something else. So you can still play Grip Ball. They're not gonna like get rid of the game types. So. Turn up the volume a little more. There you go.
probably just getting all the Forge stuff set up. That's why they do this filler stuff. Wait. I mean, you got, I love Halo you got to you got to trust and why you know because of the master chief he is my favorite hero of all times he has all the abilities and all the strength and all the traits I really look up into when I see or want to follow a hero and most of all he's loyal he's not a brain dead soldier who takes orders but he is loyal where it counts he's loyal with his team with the people no problem Halo clips Want to have them in your team when things get seriously and also important he never gives up so i actually wanted to have something on my skin that is very special and is related to halo so i choose the power armor because it stands for speed it stands for strength and also for protection and everything else that is related to the master chief and i'm very proud to have this tattoo and also share it with the halo community <laughs> Nathan. It's a cool tattoo she's getting, you know. It is a cool tattoo. But she needs to do a full body tattoo of the armor. Now that's, that's legit. My tattoo is finally done and I'm so proud of it. Thanks again to Raphael from Identity Tattoo here in Munich. And if you guys are <laughs> Halo fans, if you guys have Halo tattoos, then share with us. We would like to see them. I'm so excited right now. So I'm going to do just stare at this at the rest of the day, the rest of my life. Special shout out to Maxi for that literal chief half sleeve. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Game cool. uh, and we have, as soon as we if I got, it, if I ever got tattooed, tattoo, which I never so would, but if I ever did get one, it would be of and course well of uh, the Forge so Ball, the monitor, nice or whatever you want to call them, really Guilty Spark, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome But job. that's why I'd probably get. Find some friends like that. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at some fine, fine community multiplayer clips. Next one, I need to find some friends, I guess, is what Graham is saying. I need to find some friends, period. You don't, you don't work with oh, a very talented video clips. team or anything yeah. like that and production um, team. Yeah. Or Where could you possibly find that? Lord, <laughs> please. Next up is uh, our next community multiplayer showcase. First one is called Jacked by Lustful Spartan. Let's see if he pulls uh, lives up to this name. That's exactly the AR. Oh, this is pretty sweet. I've seen this. Perfectly timed no, thrust, ground no. pound, slam, board. Okay, that's pretty cool. Way too that's good. That's pretty cool. Uh, the timing and precision uh, on that, that was Banshee awesome. Steel was absolutely fantastic. Take a look at this. Sees it in the distance somehow through the binoculars. The thrust back. And I mean, what? I would have just simply panicked and hit all the buttons <laughs> yep. and not gotten away with a mansion. I would have just run away. I wouldn't even I wouldn't like try to engage that. That was pretty wild. At all. That was pretty wild. Great indeed. job, Lustful uh, Spartan. Too good. Next one's called Run and Scatter by Boho Dill. Let's go ahead and see exactly what this happens. Of course, another Warzone clip. And I have a feeling we're going to see some. Oh, oh look, this is what you do just oh distract them. <laughs> just distract them. They won't know if we're here. And looks like now going. Oh, and he's going to finish the boss. Yep. <laughs> well done there. Fine scatter shot play. We'll watch it one more time. Uh, once again, this clip here looks way too good. This is coming from Boho Dill. Run and scatter, and eventually lands the boss takedown. Also a good well pun. On the patrol leader. Is yeah. that you too, Chad? It had yeah. to be Chad. Fantastic work, my friend. Dude. What about Next my Ducat emblem? Is, uh, Stop. Yeah, I guess. Hammer time. I guess. From our friend Noodle Weird. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and see. Oh, exactly. Tartar's gavel there. Uh, this is pretty deadly. Oh my! With a banshee inside. Can't bring that inside, my friend. That doesn't belong. There. I get both then. Except I get both. I would never get a tattoo, but looks like also we'll just say that. Control as well. Uh, <laughs> what? Let's watch that one more time. Uh, not good. Look at this. I mean, first of all, just wrecking down there. That guy in the band tell you is so cool too. And finishes off with the DMR. Multi-talented player here, our friend Noodle Weird. Like, wait for and it. Wait, just times it. Boom. Oh. That. The kinetic bolts yeah, I wish the pregame lobby um, would actually show players gamer tags. Too much. 
Next like, up, we you know, have a very special awesome segment a picture. on the show, one that I've been looking so that forward would be to. Nice. We know one that many of you are looking forward to yes. as well. We're going to be talking about Forge. Let's welcome our guests Yay! here, Ryan King and Tom French. Gentlemen, great to have you with us on today's Hello. show. Thank you, guys. Representing the Forge squad. What's yes. up, guys? Doing some fantastic work upstairs. Yep. Thank you. Thank How you. How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah. We're doing good. Yeah. We're doing real good. Good. Cool. Tired. Yeah. Busy. Yeah. But, yeah. Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, Ryan Keene, Forge Environment Artist, of course, and Tom, UGC Director. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the new Forge updates that are coming. We've got some new features as well. There goes the controller. So, so, Tom, so I think you have you. some stuff to actually can we show just stop us. Working demo? We'll I think that. we can go straight into it. Uh, you can Beautiful. talk. Uh, let us know about everything that's coming. Um, I guess while we load in, uh, any things that you're specifically excited about? <sighs> uh, I mean, there's parts that we don't want to talk about yet because uh -huh. you'll see it in the demo. But okay. there's a lot. We we worked. We had a. We, had a, we were super busy. Uh, to get this done, and we're really there's a new feature in here that we'll show that we're really excited. It's like about. great stuff. We're gonna we're gonna blow some minds yeah. today, sir. Ooh, we're gonna blow ooh. some minds. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we focused this update a lot on we wanted to celebrate infection coming. Like we were excited, and like we know the community really loves it, so we really wanted to support that with a lot of pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, so we added a lot of pieces, and there's still some that we didn't get to, but we'll you know we'll hopefully try to get to some of those later. But uh, I think we got enough so that people can make some good creepy maps. So cool. Definitely some good pieces to so detail. Yeah, on. I know we've shown off a tiny bit of teases <laughs> um, that people have been excited about and making some guesswork on, but I think we're ready to jump into your demo. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right team here. Yep, I'm on the right team. Good to cool. go. Cool. All right. All right, let's do it. All right. Um, so this is the map I put together last night. Uh, one of the first pieces we wanted to kind of show off. Oh, there, we're getting a friend's request already. Somebody's got the <laughs> controller <laughs> set to something weird, so let's put it back to something normal. Not a bumper jumper fan. <laughs> <laughs> weird. That was bumper jumper um, for those wondering. So one of the first things that we added were, um, we added ammo crates, which would be helpful for infection. Oh, and cool. so. Last update, we added the ability to set weapons to have less ammo in it. Mm -hmm. So, like this one here, there's a Covenant weapon crate. But if I, you know, try to bring it, it won't fill up my UNSC ammo. Cool. But if I come over here, it will fill up my UNSC Ooh. ammo, which is nice and handy. And the nice awesome. thing about both of those is they are color changeable. Yep. So yep. they, they do oh, cool. respect the Forge color change. Yeah, stuff. we we definitely try to put that on everything we can. And then there's you'll, you'll see along the way lots of little decals and stuff that we've added. Like there's the new lighting gobo for the infection map or mm -hmm. theme. Um, here's the the brute plasma rifle that we brought in that we from the rest of the game mm -hmm. uh, that is coming into multiplayer this update, uh, but we wanted to put it in Forge, so it's in Forge now. But you'll see things like there's the, the decals. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, we we brought great. in just a ton of signage that would kind of kind of help get that infection feel for your maps. And then other things. Ooh, yeah. So we have a lot of bodies, but one of the things we wanted was the skulls because they're fun to knock Push down stairs yeah. and stuff <laughs> like that. That's true. Um, another thing that people have been asking for were the smaller sizes of the kill ball, mm -hmm. and so this is the. Killball Junior, as we refer to him as. Um, and then there's also some other effects. There's a new lighting <coughs> effect in there. Um, wow. There's a new lens flare effect that we have in there. And I just kind of scripted it to switch between the two, which is kind of fun. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then, yep, see more decals. Just L tons of decals. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I love rad. And then down here, you'll see the, some of the bodies, trash. Dead bodies. Um, definitely a lot. Kind of looks like the first floor. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Uh, there's lots of, you know, and then they're all, and the, again, like we made them color changeable. It's the, we like to make sure we support Forge, so even the trash bags color change. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, trash then, bags, all that stuff. Yeah, myself. right. You know, you could have white ones if you really like to, <laughs> or totally true. whatever color. And then, um, so this is something we teased right here. This is what we call, this is the Killball Plasma that we added. Uh, it causes damage over time when you're near it, and so mm -hmm. that's why I ran through that ha hallway there uh, to kind of show that off a little bit. Um, and then there's, you'll see some new insect eff effects emitters that we have in there, which are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then there's some flies down there just to make it kind of gross oh, and kind of there. That's great. But then you'll see in here, like, I mean, talk uh, to these. Dead, dead bodies all over the place. We've got elites, we've got grunts, we've got uh, uh, jackals, of course, the, the human uh, colony people that we saw earlier. Uh, color change on all their armors. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Wow. yeah. You so can color fun. change all the armors. Pieces. Definitely going to help creep out your maps. And then that's the kill ball plasma. Uh, I left that one outside of the window just to showcase it and kind of looked outside. And then there's the junior version. Like we kind of, I started like that theme of having like a big and a small of everyone. We needed a baby, we just a little, a little baby. Just a little guy. Uh, another thing the community has been asking for are bigger decals because they have a hack that they can use with our lighting to kind of make creepy substances and stuff. So mm -hmm. made some bigger decals. Yay! Use, like that's just a single decal uh, that I put on top of those. Bigger decals. Mm -hmm. And then some other things like so, like if I wanted to go down this hall here. Uh, I'm getting stopped. Uh, we added a new 
blocker, like an invisible blocker uh, that it respects teams. And so this one, oh, I'm, I'm on the red team, so I can't go through here. Oh, okay. Hopefully people don't use it in a situation like this where, you know, it's blocking an obvious hallway. But it's fun because you can shoot through them and like I'll knock the little kill ball junior out of the level, <laughs> you know, just to show that off. So it's just, I don't know, it's a, it has like, some uses for it. You know, we right. want to give them little toys to tinker with and experiment with new ideas. And then we'll kind of go down this. There's a new effect emitter we have down here. Which is kind of cool and dramatic. That's pretty cool looking. I can't remember what that one's actually called, but <laughs> we'll walk in here. Uh, now this this is where it gets real fun. Oh, uh, here uh, we so go. We have done some serious updates to all of our materials on the primitive objects. Uh, to start off with, we we heard you guys when you said that uh, there was not enough kind of a textural feel to any of our objects. So we went through and we updated our basic metal material. So now there's actually a little bit of texture information Yay. to that. Uh, so you can kind of get it like a sense of scale and a sense of that it's actually a metal, uh, but well, and also I mean even just this piece here. That, so this is this is a primitive prim like this we oh, call yeah. it a simple primitive. Like community's been clamoring <coughs> for this for a while rather than just our regular cubes and stuff that we have that have detail. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, all right, we'll give them a set of literally cubes, uh, and they're fun. They color change. Uh, there's three color changes. The opposite sides change color, so you mm -hmm. can do all kinds of cool stuff with them. And we have a bunch of different sizes and scales, but. Uh, the real thing we're excited about is Ryan will get into here. Here it is. Is that when you go to the so, object properties, you can do this now. On across all of our primitive objects, we now have the ability to change. This is so awesome. Other material, uh, forerunner material. Oh, wow. uh, we've got uh, concrete and wood. <laughs> we've got stone Dang. and Woo! marble. Wow. Yeah. So now Ooh. all your primitives can be. That's awesome. Now remember, guys, this is very metallic looking. Uh, they increased that, so that's why it looks all shiny yeah, so and stuff. You can, of course, yeah, make it where out. it's all matte and color so like a bunch and of everything. Go through and change so it. So it's less over, shiny. Yeah. And the, the cool part about this is it respects uh, all of our color change. Mm -hmm. So you can still have, even if you want to go through and you want to have pink uh, stone, you can have pink stone. You can make Barbie's little uh, dream house <laughs> castle, you know? Uh, whatever you want to do, you can do. That's the cool part. Dang. That is Looks too good. I think that's one, amazing. when we teased off the stone, I think I had my favorite comment read was someone who I think who just built their entire map with the current <laughs> forge into a stone map. And then we just came out with this. Yeah. The cool that'll part, be much, much easier. Yeah, the cool part about that is they can go back and they can change their stuff. Yeah, it'll look, you know, it'll look even better. And yeah, then there's exactly. another layer on top of that. that yeah. Literally we oh, we have an overlay. Now overlay so a frost layer that oh. you can add on this top is what of that to detail it out more. And then you can scale these to kind of change. Scaling the overlays. Kind of to shapes really all. customize your maps as much as you want them to be customized. And then we have another one that's grime. So you can get a really kind of just dirty, Jeez. nasty looking map, which is <laughs> it looks too that cool. That is crazy, yeah. And it, it immediately changes like, you know, the mood of the, the, the world which or the, the, your building. Which there you go. Cool. You can have yeah. some frosting like grime overlay. Feels that's well, pretty awesome. Different, right? it sure and you can scale them. You can scale the overlays to where it will be a smaller amount of um, grime, larger. So cool. like you can, you know? I think finally I'll use the brown colors more in our palette, which is nice. <laughs> um, they're way up there. Yeah, they, they weren't getting a lot we of love before. We have a lot before. of colors. So like, you know, I got a nice sweet Rich looking, mahogany? Yeah. Rich mahogany. <laughs> there we go. I'd this live in this a, place. Yeah. So yeah, it's really it's cool. Back like, room. And we did the primitives this time. We like they literally. How many you had to touch? How many pieces? Oh man, it was I think it was seven hundred and thirty pieces, individual pieces we touched. Uh, wow. So yeah, we are. We're, it was it was a lot of work to get these things up stuff to this looks particular awesome. standard. Uh, a, a lot of stuff that we had to go through, but we uh, we are going to be going through and uh, doing the same treatment on some of the structure pieces as well. Mm -hmm. So coming down the pipe. Uh, you know, your your walls, your floors, uh, some of the bridges, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, right now they're uh, on some primitives. The, some of the cooler accent stuff. Oh, so. Just to get the same kind of love to all of our pieces, yeah. yeah we, we had to start somewhere. Minecraft maps. We couldn't do it all at once, but it was a cool thing to start <laughs> with. And I think the primitives start. were smart. It, made st it makes the primitives was, like really interesting immediately. And it was the biggest bang for the buck, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we it's, like I said, there was 730 of them, 720 of them, whatever it was. <laughs> uh, I, I lost track. Yeah, you was, can never was, complain was about 3 for 3 on Forge. Yeah, Forge is ridiculous. Sweet. I mean, everything looks. I'm fantastic. blown away, man. Yeah, just like the visual Jay's fidelity speechless. you're going to see on the maps is going to be unreal. It's not just this. It's like all these little decals and the little details that people are going to be able to add now. Yeah, it's just and there's lots incredible. of fun things like you know you can like we find the the forerunner one looks good for like kind of a like a, a metal grading kind yep. of look. You yeah, can use that for a lot British. of different things. Yeah, yeah, you can make the covenant one with it, it kind of going with the blacks. It looks more carbon fiber like, which yep. is kind of cool. So they're pretty versatile. Um, you know, just try, you know, we keep playing, try to find the right numbers, so, but all the colors are respected. Uh, Halo Avenger, it just takes getting used to. Once you get used to the Forge kind of controls, fun, so. it, they're super easy. Man. So. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's <laughs> fantastic stuff. I know everyone at home is excited to get 
their hands not only on this forge, but if you're like Jay and myself, on the hands of maps that much better forgers. Yes, have. yes. For sure. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited to see what people do with this yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah uh, I mean, just internally, even playing with this stuff, it was cool to see some of the things that came out of it. Yeah. I cannot wait for some of the forgers to, to get their hands on this and see what they do with I it. I bet they can't either. <laughs> yeah, I kept watching people like tweet me like pictures of their maps, and like somebody posted me like a really cool looking covenant map, and I was like, oh, just wait, you wait. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's gonna look legit in a couple weeks, which is rad, so wow. I'm excited about that. Really nice work, guys. Thank yeah. you. That's awesome. Very Great excited. Too. I think next up we'll take a look at some Forge uh, community montages. Uh, take a look at some of the uh, stuff that the community has been making. Wow. Uh, you just got a sneak peek at what's coming tomorrow. So all that's going to be in Memories of Reach, of course. People yep. can grab yeah. it tomorrow. Yep. Uh, I can't wait to see infection maps. Uh, I mean, everything. I think the <coughs> level of polish we've even seen before some of these updates, right, yeah. have been incredible. Yeah. Um, so what the community will come um, I'm pretty sure, and Nathan, the grouping issues better. are so going to be fixed in this one also. And take a look at some of the finest community creations out there. We will, we will be doing it pretty <laughs> soon. Any, but it'll happen. Any, Don't again, Weverin Zoo. Gosh, Psych, she is gotcha. incredible. <laughs> we got there you, right? Go. Okay, here we go. Now, Infusion here. Oh, it's so uh, pretty. This was too good. One, another Weverin Zoo project, I believe. Uh, this one is El Toro. Uh, way too oh. cool. Uh, oh, uh, this track as well. I think I rode something like that in New Jersey one time. It wasn't a good idea. Uh, but some of these, yeah, some of these tracks are developer. way, way too cool oh, here, as you can see yep. on your screen. Just click that. Uh, right. This one is Goliath, uh, which really cool use of labels and signs <coughs> here yeah, you're good uh, yeah. on this as well. Uh, I love the showcases of the the diving suits. I oh, think yeah. oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, the community just keeps, I don't know, wow. just turning out amazing. That's maps. pretty. Yeah. Using some of the new foliage stuff, it looks like. It looks like it. Yeah, there's some yeah. Of the grass in there. Definitely. We have bigger sheets of grass trees, coming. All the vines on there, too. Yeah. That's a nice Did y'all hear that? Wow, what a nice looking map. Bigger yeah. sheets of grass awesome. coming also. Uh, um, I, mean, um, I guess they didn't showcase that, but there will be <laughs> bigger sheets nice. of grass also. <laughs> so they're not going to be yeah. teeny yeah. tiny little right? things I of grass. Yeah. I mean, I remember even back in the Q3 days, like people playing the like map, building maps like this. I love it. It's fun. It's a lot of personality. This wobble is knock. Wobble Knock. Uh, some looks like some oh, yeah. wild, <laughs> wild <laughs> oh. version of a mini game. <laughs> what? Uh, I didn't too. know it was that kind of party. <laughs> so, uh, looks like this one is uh, Egyptian Origins. Yeah, nice. Looks oh man. Oh, that's yeah. dope. This looks fantastic as well. Interesting track that will take you right into the mouth of the Sphinx, or perhaps the belly, I suppose. Uh, but. Uh, too cool as well. This is too cool. Diner. The 50s diner <laughs> with the perfect the colors are oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, the miniature scale uh, <laughs> is too cool. And of course, just like any diner, you've got man cannons to get you right up to the counter. Uh, with, uh, now we have the haunted husky mansion. Uh, this thing. Oh, I've seen this video. This is pretty wild, Cal, because it's like the windows are like portals too, taking mm -hmm. you to different spots on the hallway. Oh, that's super cool. That's this is amazing. Uh, I dig it. Uh, I believe, yeah, a Husky Raid variant there as you just kind of continuously charge at oh, each yeah, we, other. We one. saw this map when it first uh, hit like the, the web and we started, we loaded it up immediately. It was super gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, seclusion, like you said, you can find that on Forge Hub as well. Uh, fantastic community piece. Cool. Um, and now you have Too Far Gone, which is your. Uh, flaming tower complete with Step back because you keep repeating yeah. it. Oh, yeah, this is the walking dead. We're going to do that one. just because. Cool looking. Too cool. And it looks like uh, now this is Sanctum. I've seen this one. As I well. know oh, it's wow. not true, yeah, really but it's still one of those things where. Epidemic. Come on. Uh, uh, really cool effects. use of the yeah. 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 People haven't seen the movie. Don't be talking about that type of stuff. And uh, next map we're going to go ahead and take a look at is going to be Gondola Wars. And I believe we're actually going to be playing this one. <laughs> we will be playing this one. I haven't played it yet. Have you guys played no. it? Which is a, a good time to mention. If you are friends online with uh, John Unishek, go ahead and First of all, what are in. you doing? <laughs> Think about your decisions in life. But yeah. if you are, let's take advantage of it. Let's turn it into a positive. And uh, I have a custom game set up with it right now. I'm on... Uni's account too, so I'm gonna Are totally you? mess up all of his oh, stats. This is, oh, no, stats. Doing, this doing is bad beautiful. Things, you hear that? Man. Uni's shaking his head at me like Jay. Doing bad Jay. Things. So I'll do my hard. But yes, we got a custom game going. So if cool. you're friends, join in. We're gonna be starting it very soon. So this one comes. Uh, this is a question for the Forge guys. This one comes from Jaeger Bad Chin. First of all, thanks for your question. Thanks for watching. You're gonna be getting a Halo Five rec pack. Nice. They want to know why is the Forge team so amazing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's, good, that's, that's, that's a good question. Uh, I, man, I don't know. I <laughs> literally just drunk all the time. <laughs> just drunk all the time. Drunk all the time. Have, yes. Fair enough. <laughs> I think it, I think the amazing good. creations that come from your drunkenness. Yeah, we get a little, we get a little li liquored up. I just, think, a, just a little, though. I think just we're the team that just, like, we just kind of try to have fun with what we're doing and keep ourselves entertained with what we're building as well. Mm -hmm. And so, and we, we listen to the community a lot, and so I think yeah. they're happy with what we do. Like, we try to even yeah, schedule so. time for it. So to build stuff that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. I think that's a that's definitely a huge part of it. We do. We listen. We have a, a our ear to the. Yep. Yes, we do. We're full. Listening right. to what oh, people. Oh wow. Want. Yeager Bad Chin, this thank you for your team. question. Of course, thank you for the Forge team, all they've done. But we're going to check out a Forge creation now. It's going to be Gondola Wars by Flame and Grunt. For those of you that are that are getting, we might have to kick for this. It's nothing personal. Yeah, you're <laughs> kicking people. I have to. We're, we're, it's too full. Oh, what got a great thing to do on a community live stream. Sorry guys, I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's just, kick the community out of the game. I think you guys just kicked us out of the game. <laughs> My goodness, Jay. Uh, but this is going to be Gondola Wars. I, I have so popular. Who knew? Like he had this. Many <laughs> he's not that popular. Uh, the, so uh, I what think we have here. Let's see. The rules are going to be. It's going to be a match of strongholds. I believe. Is that right, Uni? It's yes. going to be uh, moving platforms yes. that you have to control. Is that right? That's kind of what I got. You had to from kick people out because there's okay. no level cap. I mean, there's um, no player cap of we have 16. People you can invite in here. 20 that's players into your deal. That's a lot yeah. of people. That's a lot that's of people. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get to 16. Right there. Of course, you have to get to 16. <laughs> uh, it's going to be tough, man. All right. Let's see. So Something personal. This is, uh, this is now Jay Fresh booting many of you fine viewers. What kind of Cracker Jack game. operation are we running here? You're going to have <laughs> swords and plasma <laughs> grenades in your hand. Uh, Watch if, out. if you manage to stay in the game, that is. Um, geez, yeah, his textures are amazing. Just, you you might, got a stupid net. Pow! It's, it's a brutal prospect this is over here. There's a really net flying around me. It's been flying around me for the past two days. It's been bothering me. In retrospect. Have you done this before? A, Jay what is, is this really, game? Jay is good with party management. No, he's he's good. <laughs> it's his first day. Leave it to me. For, yeah, Leave for those of you who me. just saw uh, the wonderful notification uh, parade uh, during the Forge reveal, um, we just decided to kind of go with it now, and that's an opportunity to get your name out there, <laughs> there in go. front of thousands yeah. of others. So yeah. we have embraced the, the art of the notification <laughs> yes. uh, virage. How is there more people yeah, in the Yeah, dude, party I don't now, know how Jay? this is still uh... a... <laughs> 75 people in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help? We're kind of a big deal. Do you need help? No, you Did you set it. this thing to invite only? It. My gosh. It doesn't matter. You can set it to oh, invite so only. Exactly. It's, it's just that other people it. can invite it's also. Good thing we're not on a schedule like, or anything. Because like, yeah, yeah, right? we played this we're, we're, with... Here, just, just give us to John. He'll set up your lobby. A smaller, a smaller group. <laughs> you're just going to take it? Yes, that's exactly yeah, what's going to happen. He's going to come around Dude, your here. Account, man. That's why 343, y'all know our issues as custom games, lobbies, and game night things. That's the it's reason why we need, you know, a cap of 16 <laughs> players <laughs> on yeah, there. Yeah. Gotta appreciate Amazing that. This is Amazing why we need it. Always I'm just watching the number go all the way up uh, in the lobby. I, I had no idea our lobby. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> no, I don't. I, there's something wrong here. We're about to crash the OS. Lobby, it is. but just have to do. Uh, we're gonna be playing Gondola Wars in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Maybe. Uh, we have Maybe. Uh, how many? Pro probably. How many devs does it take to close this lobby? Is the question. How many 343ers does it take? But you know, you've played Gondola Wars. Yes. You have. Um, what We're are your tips? We'll, we'll cool. relay them because I don't think you're mic'd up. Don't what, tell what them to them, though. Uh, <coughs> thrust a lot. Thrust Ooh. a lot. Many jokes could be made at this point <laughs> in the broadcast. That Twitch chat's having fun with that one right now. Yeah. Yeah. Unishek says, th we should make a shirt. <laughs> thrust <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and it's just Unishek's Unishek. face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thrust a lot. I'm sure someone could get like a spread shirt uh, made for us. That would be awesome. You didn't uh, say that in the Game Informer video, so that's <laughs> you're saving that for us. That's great. Along. Too good. Um, but right now, if you're just joining us, this is the Memories of Reach live stream. <laughs> Taking a look at all sorts of things in Memories of Reach. If you missed any of it, this will be available. What's that on noise? YouTube, is that just me? Uh, well is that everyone? Right now, I believe the Twitch VOD uh, as well. Um, but uh, we got a lot of stuff coming. Oh! Tons of new Rex. Is new, that everyone? Uh, Did y'all hear that? Um, slowly, we are getting this lobby down to a real Here we go. Uh, like Y'all hear that, that too? What was that noise? I always, What's going on here? I always think that too. I'm like, Jay must be messing with us. Right? Jay must be I am a little us. bit. But it's, it's I am a little bit. usually not the case. It's not fun when everything goes right. Now we're down to 15. People are dropping out. <laughs> it's taking too long. I think we are good. We'll take it 15. There we go. There, can we get oh eight on eight? <laughs> Oh, perfect. There we go. Hold on, hold is on. that just happening on the stream, or what? Where is that, that happening? Everyone, calm down. I'm so confused I'll, I'll right go. now. Oh. Oh.
One more red. Is that happening on the stream or is that my stream? Is that my stream or is that their stream? Okay, we are ready to go. All right, so this is uh, Gondola Wars. We did now. this, guys. Um, we did it. Okay. We got in the lobby. Thank you for bringing I thought that was my here. stream. Uh, Jay Frechette, Very Director good. of Operations <laughs> here at 343 Industries Nailed Live Streams. Just not controller operations. Professional thing. Nailed Very it. professional. <laughs> All right, thank you for bearing with us here. We're going to be checking out some Gondola Wars, a community creation list. Okay, it's from theirs. Um, exactly how All this right. goes off. I was like, like, what's going on? Yes. <laughs> so, great job. I, I really like uh, the visuals of this map. They use the, the snow. Um, I thought it pretty cool. Tom Fridge is probably uh, asleep. Sort of, uh, Dude, they work so hard, the Forge faces. team. Yeah, it looked really, looks really nice. Sweet. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. Got to give a shout out to, let's see, Matty McD from our here. We got the Little Moa from uh, ESL. I see UK Mr. Green Skull's Green Skull. joined Skull. us. Shout awesome. out to you guys. Damn. Thank you for joining for us joining. here uh, on the show. All right, we're jumping into Gondola Wars. Finally, I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> This is this is a pretty neat idea. On uh, it's it's super chaotic. It's just like John was saying. Um, sword plasmas, grenades. Yeah, but uh, it's. it's you're gonna do it. There's, really there's anyway, a lot of falling so. to your death in yeah. this if you're not really paying attention because those platforms you're not are thrusting constantly back and forth. That's true. Thrust <laughs> there's got to be more. You're thrusting. gonna be okay. Thrust a lot. Always be thrusting. Just, just thrust That's hard. The phrase we're gonna live by. <laughs> yes. Always be thrusting. <laughs> Thrust, yeah, always be thrusting takes it to one level above thrust yeah. a lot. Yes, and definitely. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't there's a family a, Now there's program. a Tom French shirt that says always be thrusting. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we have, it's uh, 8v8 here, huh? Let's see exactly how That's this goes. So that is incredibly blue. All right, so get the strongholds, right? Yep, so you want to grab, When's obviously gonna... try to hold both strongholds. These bases will start to oh, move yeah. towards each other. Towards each other, but then they're going to oh. move back as well. So oh, it's this constant gosh. back and forth that's happening. Jeez. Controller settings. I know. Yep. Oh, I, I had to. Right, how do we get out of here now? That's There's little huddles. So yeah, you're gonna go through the, the the you see the arrows leading up, oh, and then I it's understand. gonna be like a man cannon that fires you back I out. I understand. Oh, we're mm -hmm. winning. Yeah. Nice job, team. All right, let's go. Nope. <laughs> Clay. All right, we're doing pretty well here. Let's just defend this. Oh, you're on blue team. I am on blue team. Oh man! Oh, why didn't you? Oh, um, I don't know if they're gonna fix the scripting to make, make the blocks move smoother on this update. Um, they might have some little fixes in there with this update. I don't know, but I do know that they're working on to trying to fix that. Um, I don't know if it's this update or the next one. Almost. So. Didn't didn't work out too well as I tried to get back on the map. Right, Good job, go. Red, holding two of these right now. All right. Good job, Blue, winning the game. <laughs> So you're still, even with just one base health, you are still getting, uh, actually, you should no. not be standing still. No! All right, uh, I guess I have, I need to perfect my, There's uh, a lot of people hanging out in this My room. slide jump thrust to get over this room, spot. Man. It is, it's like a disco going on. Yeah, it's like the, the, it's like the, the, the green lounge. room. Oh, yeah. where did you come from? All right, hold up. Oh. Okay, now we're finally going to make it across. Enemy no! Reckon fools. I'm not doing too well. Oh, I thought but I had the that. team. I'm getting. Well, they already showed the phaeton become pretty custom in a got match, one, so one. I doubt it. Jay, what team are you on? Like they showed a phaeton. Unless they just did that as a troll thing, then yeah. Wait, one red guy over there just holding yes. it down. No, that no, was no, me. No, he's not. No, he's not. That doesn't happen very often. Got him. I got stuck. I think that was a great grenade throw. Thank you, Jay. You're amazing, Bravo. That's not what I was looking for. The amazing Bravo. Here we go. 134 to 105. People need to wow, stop praying for the. That was uh, crazy. All right, here we go. We have, we have to hold this front line. Hold, brothers. Oh. Hold. No. I suck with this. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. As I'm heading towards blue base, I should probably be watching for that. It's kind of like, oh, everybody left. I'm safe. <laughs> no, you're not. Just e kidding. E Step back. I agree. All right. Oh, Forge team is doing a whole red's lot. Because red's dominating. Yeah, no, it's. Well, Blue's got the lead still. They all left. They all left the platform, and I got the other one. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. But it to me worked. On the it other worked one. for a second. They all left. That was too cool. Oh, hold it down over there, Red. Nice. All right, they have both. All right, so pretty cool. To I know you're hiding here. I know you're hiding here. Damn it. Nice try. This waiting anticipation. Unicheck hacker. This brutal. It's sort of like dodgeball, oh, too. Dang. Yeah, right? For it is, yeah, yeah. Did I wow. just run right what into a grenade? Earth? <laughs> it's so snowing in the basement, I can never tell what's going on. Yeah, I like the snow. It's just a nice visual yep. element yeah. to the... All right, let's see. We are losing now. Blue. So how do we get well, over to be able to add the is Falcon, it, and they basically have to jump? create it from scratch. It's not like they can question. just pull from reach, Answer and then yes, that's all they do. You know, they still got to... 
you know, basically, oh, Ooh, fell off. Uh, base. But they basically have to create it from scratch. All right, so we're playing. I didn't, oh, I got one! I didn't, even, <laughs> I didn't even check, but we're playing to 700. I got stuck here. So this is a... Uh, this is a long one, huh? Yeah, this is uh, going to be a match. So really, anybody can. Let's still hope win right now. race with hogs of wi hogs that. wild. Let's hope. Let's what? hope. Oh, oh man, Moa it, just it, had a well timed and well placed plasma. Oh nice grenade! Wow. People then, are figuring that Moa out. Then Moa had man. suicide. I saw that Moa. People are figuring that out. Uh, you know who's not figuring that out? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Me that either. Guy. I'm dying a lot from it. Are you thrusting enough? Thank you for the help. I, I'm Make not, sure you're I'm not enough. thrusting enough. You know, Make sure you're that, thrusting enough. <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what I'm doing wrong. All right. Let all you dummies go up front. No! Toggle Crouch. Curses. This is a very neat idea. Who plays with Toggle Crouch? Yeah, this is a great idea. I totally dig this. All right, so it's... Uh, what the hell killed me? That was a great Still idea. pretty close here. 239 to 280. How long have you been getting any streaming game. for until this ends? All right, right, now I'm going to be streaming later game. tonight, probably doing some Forge on nope, Twitch. Nope, we're not halfway. Um, and also doing some Forge and uh, testing I, I, out my I, I, I new maps and stuff like that, so... Yeah. We're just going, man. I was hoping you could use the glass. Don't I don't know when later tonight. Just go pressure. follow Keep my thrusting. Twitch. Link in the description. Oh, I got double. We're good. Also follow Base my clear. Twitter, so really I do. do. I will clear. announce right, ready, uh, whenever I'm going to stream numbers right on now. there. Sometimes yeah, yeah. it's late at go, night. Depends go, on go, kids. Go, it might. Go. It's most likely going to be late at night. Nice job. All right, now we got so. this. Hold this line. At least late at night, U.S. time. Hold, brothers. Dimitri Martin. Anyone? Yes. Hold, brothers. All right, we're good. I got. I got a killing spree. My gosh. All right, let's do this. The waiting game, too. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah. Like, oh. It's like traded with one. It's like when you don't catch a light. <laughs> like, oh, it was almost. I got to sit here for two minutes. I don't know. Can you always, can you slide jump and like always make it? No? I don't have that skill in level. No, no, it's too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did I play Overwatch? Yes, I did I play Overwatch. I really enjoyed it. Be a lot of stuff um, I'm side. not sure if I'm going to get right, it though, just because like, so right, I don't feel the longevity will be there. I feel right as there. if it's yeah. going to be like Evolve and Titanfall. So, oh my gosh! I think Titanfall had a lot more vers uh, versatility or whatever you want to say. Like it was a lot more versatile than Overwatch, at least personal to, personally to me. Much thrust. Um, All right, nice job. So, Clear this last guy out. Right. Yeah. Still what enjoyed the? it, though. <sighs> okay. All right, nice we're at 400, Red. I said nope. <coughs> All right, we clear that thing out. Am I going to yeah. play Battlefield nice. 1? Okay, Absolutely. We're good. We're good. Hold on. Hold, I love hold on. World War games. Hold on. Like, you They're going to come one by one. So I, I absolutely love it. Um, oh, I, my favorite Call of Duty game was <laughs> World at War. Oh, all right, that was good um, I love that. I Battlefield like 1942 or 1943. <laughs> I love those hard. games. They're yeah, so much fun. Um, so yeah, absolutely, go. I'm going right. to be playing right, that. Right, get ready, get ready. Oh, that guy got double stuff. No. Nice. What the? <laughs> all right. That's hey, a great, like, that was a really good, oh, six of us, like, just right, later, Retro. Really good comeback. Really good comeback. Uh, oh, we have a question, actually. It looks like a fan question from someone in the room. Uh, they want, this is a question for Unishek. They want to know, is it possible to thrust too much? <laughs> no. no. The answer is no, folks. Maybe you should change the custom games for unlimited thrust. So you could always <laughs> be thrusting. I think you can do that, Chad. Yeah, that's a, that's a real thing. Yeah. That's oh, what we need. Is that you, Uni? Oh, yeah. All right, well done. Get over there! No, I gotta get back to my platform. No, no, no. You ever play Smite? Oh, the moment a little when you bit. realize I'm not really, in between platforms. I'm not really big in those type of games. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a sad You know, moment. it's okay. Yes. It is. Oh, this is pretty, still a pretty close game. Yeah. 430. So I, I, I hadn't even noticed, but wow. you obviously only need one. Con you're scoring as long as you have one stronghold. Yep. Yep. I was going to say, there's no way. No, that's awesome that they up. got the oh, I mean, Lego Slave one. That's pretty awesome. That was a smart, smart <coughs> I would say so. All right, this is a battle. Yeah. For those of you that are still with us, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, man, the, I, like the little I don't have patience to wait for the platform. It's tough. I make the jump every Like I said, when I come off the spawn, it's just coming up to us. It's like, no, I don't yes. speak Spanish. No waiting game. All right, here oh, we go. A bunch of blue over there. How many we got? We do not. All right, we're good. Two of we're us. good. Great. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. Attack. Oh, I was a decoy. <laughs> Oh, awesome, you got Fred Sweet. Yeah, I have I have 
Fred, I have Buck, I have Chief, and I have Locke. That's what I have so far. All right, now yeah. we're good. Yeah, and then the, like when it starts leaving and you're running up to it, it's like that elevator closing feeling. Oh, no, it's the worst. Said, no. Happens every morning. All right, let's see who we got on these teams. Let's see. Uh, with me on the blue team, we've got uh, Green Skull. Uh, Jay, is that really you on your account? That's oh. Ellen playing as me. I was worried Jay was on my team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, so we're down by 40. We got this. Oh, no, I did it again. The platform thing. Ooh, nice. Nice. Not, good. Oh, good job, not enough thrust. Need more thrust? <laughs> Need more thrust. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, they have. Oh, damn. Oh, man, you guys are wrecking over there. Hold the platform. I got one. I think I just got grenaded right, coming shot. out of the spawn area. <laughs> so did I. They've learned new tactics. I don't like it. They're Whoa. evolving. They're, they're oh. testing us. Who's got the new plays on the lights? That's a nice play. Oh, I just got a triple, double grenade. Oh, that was rad. No, I doubt they'll have Rex and Forge this update. I don't, they won't. Oh, it's not good. Um, they will eventually, they're but away, that'll folks. take a lot don't more a time to be able to do man. something like that. <laughs> they're about to oh. be. I'd, 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 personally, I would love Rex and Forge, but I'd rather the Forge team do other do stuff, we're all gonna get like we're adding the forge. textures, <laughs> you know, and things like that in there, rather than getting Rex right, here we right go. now. They come back. They come back. Oh, snap. Hold the line. We're almost there, Red. We're close. Hold oh, it. Oh, I love the guy in the... Oh. Get out of here. Wow, I actually got oh, two I kills. Got one. Bull true. I, I got like... three kills? Oh. I got an over? That's good. That's good. I got an overkill. But now the platform's going that way. Five minutes Missed out my opportunity. Oh, I get there. Ooh. All right. Oh, I have to wait. Oh, that's depressing. I was like missing an Wow, airplane. this person's using flank routes. Oh. They're getting sm oh. They're getting smarter. <laughs> They're learning. They got it. <laughs> we have to take their it's point right like now. We got to take their point. Like that. No, we needed oh, you to get, get that there, kill, get fish. There, get there. I'm going. Almost made that jump. Is anyone here? No? We just did a big platform switch. He's on his own. No. Oh. 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 That's awesome game. Cool. That's they awesome could possibly game. release the Falcon in nice a future job, update. That that's that's, 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 that's by possible. possible. Yeah, totally possible. Fantastic. That was crazy. Fantastic. Fun. Game type, uh, way too cool. Um, and now it can look even cooler. Thanks a lot. That's true. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, that's true. I want to give a big thanks to boy. our. I want to give a big thanks to everyone who joined us today, Ryan Keen as well as Tom French. Uh, awesome having you guys with us. Uh, that was uh, I have to say, pretty sweet game type. Uh, so now let's go ahead, uh, and it sounds like everyone has been asking uh, that Tom has brought a very special guest. So we'll go ahead and check that out in just a moment. But uh, Falcon. Say, there's tons of stuff. As I was saying during the match, there's tons of stuff coming. Uh, and prior to the match, there's tons of stuff coming in Memories of Reach. Um, Don't get my hopes up. The, all the new recs, uh, new map, matchmaking preferences, uh, UI updates, uh, sandbox balance, um, campaign balance, lots of stuff coming out. It looks like Tom has a very special guest. A very guest. special guest. <laughs> oh, it's all of the pig. We this don't want all of Don't get my hopes up like that, Tom. Is this her first live stream? It's her first live stream. First time on camera. Tom, she's what are you doing? She's, she's excited. Don't get my hopes up. She's being good. So of course, uh, Olive can be is actually uh, I wouldn't say playable. Placeable. No, she's placeable. placeable. She's placeable. Yeah. She's placeable. We put her in Forge. Yeah. I believe she's got a place in Canon at this point, doesn't she? She, she <laughs> has some. Well, not yeah. Canon, but she has oh, okay. some some backstory and yeah. stuff. So I don't know. It's cool. The fans, some fans, put up a petition to get her on here. We all just got <laughs> trolled by three four three for her first live stream. Yeah. You should have seen yeah. Jay on his first live stream. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing like we're seeing from Olive. Definitely not. I made sounds like that though. That was yeah. that you, actually, yeah, you, you made sounds uh, far worse than that. I did. Yeah. I did. She'll it mix. actually got weird. 100 percent true for a while. Yeah. Yeah. If I remember correctly. You loved it. But <laughs> Olive, awesome to have you. Still, on the yes. no, you can't so say that because Bravo sat there and said it's something yeah, the community has asked she's for. Cool she's also pet she's pet indestructible. You can't say she's, that. She is invulnerable. Yeah. yeah. Yes, no sure. damage. Just say no, sure. Tom is bringing a special guest onto this stream, and that's it. And we actually brought her in and actually recorded audio. Uh. Yeah. Uh, we actually brought like her into this. the studio and recorded her so we could put the sounds in Forge and stuff. And then they they'll, they saved some of them. Like, we want to use these for other things because when you pick noises, them up, they make some terrible noises. So yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So she's pretty good, though. Awesome. She throws up a mini <laughs> falcon and that's the reveal. Olive, we'll let you get back to your normal daily, yeah, your daily routine. Olive activities. <laughs>
Ryan and Tom, awesome to have you guys on the show. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Everyone's yeah. super stoked to check out the stuff tomorrow. Yep. Oh, I know man. we're going to see you on the next live stream as well with some more stuff we've been Hopefully. working on. Yep. We're yeah, excited so. to see what they do with it. So yeah, we'll see you soon. Absolutely. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining us. Now, yeah. Jay, to close out the show, uh, more um, members of Reach. Oh, people Force really did? On the way tomorrow. I'll live with some parting words yes. for the show. Um, Memories of Reach is dropping tomorrow. Be sure to watch all of the official Halo channels, mainly Halo on Twitter. Uh, keep an eye on my account as well for details on rec timing. You can expect the recs to come, al come online a little bit after the update, just like always. So imagine sometime in the afternoon Pacific time, 2 p.m.-ish. I'll make sure to post details about exactly when the recs will become available in the, in the collection. How that works is the recs are turned on right away. They take a little bit of time to be rolled out for everyone. So just to make sure you're getting those new recs, we give everyone a safe time where we know that every single person has gotten the recs before then. If you're impatient or want to jump the gun, there's a chance you'll get the sure. recs beforehand, but keep an eye uh, on that go time as well. Memories of Reach releases tomorrow. <laughs> Olive is All done. Out. <laughs> Olive is done with the stream. Mic drop. Uh, I have to say, uh, tons of new stuff coming tomorrow. We will be in matchmaking with you. Yep. Infection is coming. Uh, Reach armors are here and lots more. We want to thank you for jo joining us on today's stream. Without you, of course, uh, there, would be, there would be no uh, way for us to do these types of shows. And of course, what do you mean, step back? Releases. The Reach so Armors, that was shown on the stream. Day for Jay, I'm Bravo. It's been an okay day for me. This yeah. was this was not, a, not my, my brightest day, I think, for live streams. I was all right. I thought you were great. I was all right. <laughs> I thought you were great. You've come a long way since that first Thanks, live stream. Thanks, guys, for putting up with me. Thanks, uh, Bravo, for putting up with me. Hey, come on, man. That's all good. <laughs> that wasn't a missed high five. We didn't do it. That's there as close as I'll get, I think. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, for Jay, my name is Bravo. For everyone in the room, thank you so much for watching. And before we go, here's a sneak peek at some of what's to come. Please race! So what, we could color our warthogs? Is that all it is? That's pretty cool. If you can color vehicles, I'm very happy about that. But, mmm, nothing on race. Nothing on race. Mmm. So, I really hope that they actually have race and everything. You know, so that would be cool, though, if you can actually color vehicles. I really hope for that. That would be sweet. Um, if you can color all the vehicles, because that would be something that would be really amazing to actually have. Uh, so, but I want race. <laughs> I want race. Uh, but all right, guys, um, that was fun. But I guess that'll be it, everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to also go follow my Twitch and also my uh, Twitter account. And also my Duquesne 23 YT channel where I upload most of my Halo content now. Um, so stay tuned for that. And guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. And I guess I'll probably be streaming some Forge later on tonight on Twitch. Uh, so I'll see y'all then. Later, guys. Oh, wait. I forgot to say it. Forge a new Halo. There you go.